Okay, we're getting ready to start Skeptical Trivia by Susan for SkeptiCalCon. So I'm going to let them in. We have six people in the waiting room. There's a couple names I don't recognize. Let's see. Should be interesting. We'll see. See if I can stay on time. Hey, Susan. Hi, Jamie. How are you doing? It's been a long day, this conference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting to a point where I'm, I'm forgetting what day it is and what, what I'm doing today. So this should be interesting. Hello, Michelle. You like us. Nice to see you. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. I, I host trivia here in Florida. Oh, do you? Yeah. Is so it trivia, um, trivia? This is, this is t definitely not normal trivia. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's not. I'm really looking forward to the challenge. That should be fun. Okay, hold on. I've got some issues. Getting an invalid. Okay, I'm going to have to deal with somebody's asking for invalid meeting. Yeah, I got that earlier. Um, what fixed it? I, You know, I couldn't tell you. I, I just went to a different place and clicked on a different link. Clicking on both the links in the email, uh, both neither of them work. If you if you cut and paste the bit.ly into your browser, that works. Yeah, that's what I did. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Just... Same here. I had to do that. And that's what I had to do this morning too. So I oh interesting. It's already new to try it. <laughs> okay, let's get this and then all. Oh, we got a bunch of people. People I have not met. Hello, Bill. Where are you at? Bill? Oh, oh, I'm here in San Francisco. Okay, cool. So you're not too far away. We got one from Florida. Deborah's in Carmel Valley. Terry's over in Kansas. Hello, Jenny. Welcome. Where are you Jenny's, from? Jenny's one of my players. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> so from Florida also? Yeah. I was Jenny, just you're muted. I was just telling her that uh, this will be a different kind of trivia than you're used to. You guys did go to Skeptical today, right? I, I did not. Um, I, I I'm gonna watch it on streaming. I haven't. I just don't have time this weekend, um, unfortunately, to see it live. But I will watch it later. Same here. I was booked all day uh, today, so I'll watch it later. Well, that's fine. Just as long as you're in the skeptical world, because this is. Oh yeah. This trivia is going to be a little more in the skeptic kind of focused mm -hmm. questions than our normal trivia, which tends to be more general knowledge of all kinds of stuff, but this will be a little bit more. So I just got another person saying they're getting an invalid ID and yeah. he says he's gonna post an update on it. So it's more people. Yeah, but Jenny and I are in a skeptics group here, so. In yeah. Florida, which yeah. one? Yeah. It's called Suncoast Skeptics in Sarasota. Oh, fantastic. Are yeah, you gonna do the CFI one? Um, I'm I'm a member of that, but it's a little further north than I normally want to travel, and uh, with and they're not having a lot of online events. So, it's Sun Coast. Uh huh. Is it in Sun Coast? Well, it, Sun Coast it, is a, is a nickname for the southwest part of Florida that we're in. Yeah, it's like there's Sarasota. Coast, there's Sun Coast. So it's basically most of Sarasota County and and more than that. And we have a lot of people who from all over the country because we do a lot of things online and share and and right now um michelle is our fearless leader well there you go <laughs> yeah okay Do we've got to get a bunch, a bunch of people telling me they're getting the bad link yes that's a shame mm -hmm. yes, yeah. yes. I, I was i was about to tell you that i could not get in but fortunately you had said it's it said that the that it was an I got an error message when I tried to use the link. Yeah, everybody's thing. doing that. That's odd because nothing's yeah. changed from normal. I didn't. I just no no. Came, you, that was it? that's how I got in. Now I got in by using our link that we use all the time. Oh, when good. I use the link on the website for Skeptical. Okay. Well, he says, gonna, he says he says he's going to refresh it and put a new one in. Yeah, good idea. I had the same problem. Yeah, I got, right, I got straight in. I don't understand why it's yeah. different. You're That's special, okay. Jenny. You're special. You know, uh, it's, it. my, it's not normally my kind of luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, 
there's another person here with the same. Oh, and they're right next to each other. Me. There's two Vincents right next to each other. That's too freaky. Hello, <laughs> Vincent and Vincent. That is, that is very odd. Okay, let me see if I'm getting any messages. He it says the he's only put one. A new one. Sharon Rom? Wow, Sharon. One. Happy well, birthday, Sharon. Hi, thank you. Happy birthday a day or two later or whatever it is. Just yesterday. Okay. okay. Well, happy birthday. Well, good. Maybe they'll let you name your team. <laughs> you never know. You've played before, Sharon, right? It's Long been a time. while, but yeah, 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 I have. Okay. I'm Hi, Jamie. Oh, look at that. You've got a tie background. Yes. <laughs> Cool. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm blurring my background so you can see Randy looking over my I shoulder. love it. <laughs> oh, you're going to score well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see Susie's here today. Hello, Susie. She's really jumping in with both feet. She wants to know what the skeptical world is all about. And she's like, yeah, I'm in it. Darn right. <laughs> Darn right. <laughs> Exciting. Well, I had trouble with the link. I had to copy paste and put it in a new browser opening. Yeah, Jay said he's going to fix it because it looks like everybody's getting a problem like that too. Yeah, I just, just jumped into Facebook minutes. to grab it, the one there and that worked. I think I heard that they did refresh it. I think I must have, I kept refreshing the page, figuring that somebody was on the problem. Yeah, because I got immediately, hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> I refreshed it. Yeah, okay, Keisha. I had that problem. In fact, I think I, I texted you because I didn't know who else to do it to. Actually, I had that problem test. getting into one of the sessions too. You can't send it that out it. When you're, you can't do trivia. <laughs> yeah, I might not participate in this too much because I'm doing a bunch of other things at the same time, but I can still listen in. I oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know how it is. What are the things are you doing that's more important than this? Come on. Playing with Lego, for example. Don't let okay. your team down, Mitchell. You're going to be on a team. You can't let them down. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be on a team. Mm -hmm. Mitchell, yeah. you're going to be on a team. Mm -hmm. I'll give the instructions many, in a few minutes. I wonder how many people we're going to get tonight. I have no idea. This is oh. great. I've got people I've not met before. This is super awesome. Well, now that I have the page updated with a proper link. Yeah, I don't know what happened. That's really strange. For whatever reason, the link you gave me before, I put it on there. I created a, a bit.ly shortened link. Anyway, it works. Well, it works if you paste it in. It just doesn't work if you click it. No, 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 no. So it, it works now. It all works. Yeah, now. When I tried to get in. Oh, okay. Because I was like, I, what did I do wrong? You got in, Caroline. <laughs> Am I the only now. Canadian on right now? I don't know. No, I'm I'm originally a Canadian. You're originally Canadian. I am. Yes. Where, where are you from? The phrase I learned. The new phrase. I am. Uh, so <laughs> I am from the yeah. worst place in Canada, yeah. and that's uh, Alberta. Oh, you're from Canada's Texas. Yes. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, Do they really uh, call it that? Oh yeah. Really I've never heard that. that. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I think I have actually heard that somewhere, probably from Jay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Adrian heard it from Adrian. Maybe. Where are you from, Jay? Originally. I'm originally a Winnipegger. Winnipeg. Oh, but yeah. my mother was a Calgarian. Oh. Oh, yeah. And what well, part of Alberta are you in? Calgary. Okay. Very good. And we, we are now in the middle of our. Uh, uh, what do they call it? The hillbilly the stampede. Oh, yeah, oh, the hillbilly. oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's saw somebody you. posting pictures of it so, yeah. today. I'm sorry, I think it's officially Not the past time where my, my Winnipeg are helping me out come to your town. Everybody oh. here told me the same thing. <laughs> there was All something right. wrong with the link, but they fixed it. Got it. Here comes another one, Paula. So we'll start. Oh, there's Thea. She and I met last seven. night. So I'm going to hang out for a little bit, but I'm going to have to go around seven and okay, gotcha. fix my poor back that because I've been sitting all day. <laughs> I know I turned off the thing at 530 uh -huh. and I went and did something else, watered the backyard and yeah, yeah. stood up. So I have a traction device that I'm going to be using shortly <laughs> interesting i sure hope that the forecast is right tomorrow we should have rain 
Oh, yeah. I wish oh, we had you. some. So oh, yeah, we need it. it. While you're here, Caroline, I wanted to tell you that your Q&A with Kenny Biddle was fantastic. I was really laughing my job, ass Caroline. off. Mm -hmm. was very good. I never Thank heard you. that story from Kenny. I've known him from years. No, neither have I. I've never heard Great. that. And, I, I, I wasn't that kidding. Off. <laughs> when we went to Gettysburg, at least one of the times we went on ghost hunting turns, I swear we heard that story. Uh, no, uh, uh, it was, that was fantastic. That was amazing. It Jay was started so laughing. I could see him on the video. He was just cracking up. Yeah, it was like we heard it, and and it was. It's it's true. You would you tell people, you know, that's me. And like when I was at Rolling Hills Asylum, I kept saying I was bitching the whole night how cold I was and because it was like 40 degrees in that building and I get cold if it's under 75 and I was just complaining the whole night and they're like no I don't think it was your voice it's like I'm telling people come on <laughs> hi Wendy hey hello join you. hey Wendy that's hot hey. you know hey, Carolyn that reminds me of the story of Jimmy Carter who that's said he saw a UFO yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they said, did you see Venus? And he said, no, Venus wasn't there. And that was the whole point. <laughs> the day he saw it, Venus was exactly where he said he saw uh -huh. the UFO. Okay. So it's the same kind of mm -hmm. idea. It's like, so if the people didn't hear, if they heard the ghost saying I'm cold, well, did they hear you say you were cold? Of course not. Well, right. So you were saying I'm cold. <laughs> so they sure heard they sure to heard the ghost say it and you said but no no nope. it was it's close. i'm gonna start in five minutes to, with the instructions for the, all the new people and then we'll start on the did you, rooms did you say it like this i'm cold <laughs> <laughs> so that might have been the <laughs> at some point i did start whining a lot so yeah Oh, yeah. so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I want to go home now. <laughs> <laughs> My well, legs are tired. I sure hope the questions are easy today. Nope. 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 They're not. <laughs> some will be. Maybe. Some will be easy for some people, and some will not be easy for some people. We need. We need some. You got to put some ringers on each team. Oh, I'll yeah. spread you guys out. I'll, I'll, I'll keep them. I'll keep them focused and, and help them strategize. But I'm not going to know any skeptical stuff. Well, we'll see. So I wrote. I wrote all of these. So, oh, if, if Susan wrote them, they're going to be easy <laughs> and fun. What did you say, Michelle? I didn't say anything. Oh, who was it? Who's talking? <laughs> I was Wait. talking. I, Carolyn. I was just saying, so it'll be fine to to step out at seven. It's not going to affect anybody, right? No, I'll just kick you off. That's okay. All right, cool. No, you can hang around. It's if I put you on a team and then you leave, then they'll be pissed at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I'm making sure I'm not on a team. So yeah, by seven. I, don't... I think I need booze. I'll be back. Yeah, go bring enough for everybody. I've got peanuts that Richard Saunders bought for me when he was here. The whole thing of peanuts. Now I'm just sitting here eating and eating and eating and eating them. Are those the Cal Carolina ones? So West Virginia. Oh, West Virginia. That's it. Yeah, I'm they're guessing. very good. I'm guessing, though. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's a Kirkland brand. Sorry. I, don't usually eat I was peanuts, thinking that was something else. They're sitting here, and now I can't, just can't help myself hmm. now. Thanks. Okay, looks like we're getting where are the peanuts from? Where Costco. are they grown? Costco. They no, what? Where are they grown? Costco. Okay. In the ground. Okay. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Virginia <laughs> variety. Extra crunchy. They're just, I don't know. Extra crunchy. They come Extra from crunchy. Africa for the most part. Originally, but not. Okay, not I'm going to start on the instructions. Let me put these away or I'll just sit here and munch on Okay, so a lot of people here have played trivia. They're used to it. They know how this works. So I'm warning my people who normally play trivia to be on your best behavior. We have guests. 
<laughs> oh, that's no fun. No, it is, it is, you say later, it gets a little, it's okay. I thought we were the guests of Skeptica. Yeah, well, no, no. What, what if we just focus all of our stuff on you, Susan? That's okay. I can take it because I have okay. booty, I because I have banning power. So, <laughs> the ban hammer. The ban hammer. So, what the way this is going to work? So, my, the people who are regulars try not to use too many inside jokes or anything like that because I don't want anybody to feel excluded. All right. <laughs> remember when you were new? Learn. If remember when you're new and you were like, I don't know anybody here, which we all had that happen, including me. Yeah, don't make fun of the way Susan says Washington. Yeah, the, the, Washington comes up every time. Uh -oh. <laughs> the the they, Pennsylvania they, Dutch. Uh, they make the categories pronunciation. The, the trick is to pick out the biggest, toughest guy and beat him up. That's how you. That's me. <laughs> so how this is going to work is there's going to be five rounds. So each round is the, the first four rounds are 10 questions each. And then there's a bonus round. We'll take a break after the second round. It's just a quick break. And of course, you can leave at any time or come and go or whatever you need to do. You don't have to like put up your hand or anything like that. So I'm going to put you guys into teams. And this is social trivia. So the idea is to get to know each other. Here comes Janine. <clears throat> so that's how we how it works here. So it's something we invented during the pandemic. This is not supposed to be a thing. It was just to be a one game and that was it. I made the category <laughs> and then they all played and said, can we come back next week? And I said, okay, I can do it again. And then it just kept happening. And now we're on game number 116. So this is our <laughs> third year. We've never missed a Thursday. We've even held it on Thanksgiving night. Twice. Wow. We've had it on Christmas Eve, I think, and New Year's Day. And I don't know, we've never missed. And so you guys are going to send us links for uh, for the future. It's every Thursday night. It's at all my it's on my Facebook page. Yes, you absolutely can come all back right. if all you enjoy right. it. So does this count different. as game one sixteen? It sure does. I don't. I'm not going with uh, what other people were saying earlier that it, that this isn't canon because it's not a Thursday night. That's too hot. Yeah. No, we're going with you. So well, I think you should. There were I, Saturday I, games. Susan, Saturday I think you day. should do what they did with the when they added the extra TAM. Call it 116.1. <laughs> well, we have done some Saturday games before, but it has been <clears throat> infrequent. So the way it's going to work is I'm going to break you out into teams. If anybody doesn't know how to use breakout rooms, you know, ask and I'll, I'll make sure you know how to do it. And what we'll do is we're going to put you into these teams. There's going to be four to five of you guys. I don't know how many will show up because there's five teams. And what you're going to do first is you're going to introduce yourself to each other. And then you're going to come up with a team name. The funnier, the better, the cleverer, the better, the punnier, the better, the more politically, whatever is close to political, whatever is going on in the news. I love all those the categories. Harder for Susan to pronounce. The harder for better. Susan to say. They like that one too. Here comes another Florida. So, um, what will happen is you're gonna you're gonna agree on a name, and then when you're done with the name, then I'm gonna call you back, and you're gonna be back in the main room again, and yeah. then you're gonna go over and everybody's gonna tell me what your name is, and I'm gonna put it on a on a score sheet I have here. Then, then um, I'm going to start off with the categories. I'm gonna read ten questions <coughs> that I've already pre-written, um, and they're gonna put them in the chat. So you should be able to see them in your chat. If you can't, uh, like if you're using an iPad or a phone or something like that, just let somebody know. And everybody in your team should be, you know, do whatever they can to help you. Some don't people, say anything. When oh yeah, don't say anything when I'm reading them all out. Yeah. In fact, you're all <laughs> muted. Wait to your team. And you're all muted when I'm reading the questions, unless you have something really funny to say. Then you push down the um, the the space bar on your on your on your. <laughs> keyboard and you can say what you're going to say i'm fine with that then but don't reveal anything and don't ask questions sometimes the questions you ask about the question i'm asking will reveal <coughs> to everybody else and that's not good then you're going to go to your rooms oh great so there's a puppy <coughs> i ate a peanut and it went down the wrong way she's so, my ringer <laughs> so then what's going to happen is mine. you're going to go into your rooms you're going to be able to discuss within your group 
I will float around your rooms. Now I'm recording right now. So all of everything you're saying right now is recorded. When I go into your room, it's recorded. But when I'm not in your room, it's not recorded. Also keep in mind, this is a little trivia for anybody who likes Zoom. Even if you, if you write uh, anything in the chat, <coughs> if you write anything in chat and it's sent to personal, the person who runs the trivia or the Zoom can always download your chat. So keep that in mind for the, for the rest of your life. Never post anything privately in chat that you don't want the person running the thing to see. <laughs> yes, I think that's funny. Anyway, sorry. Oh. Just a little bit of information out there. So I, I never look. I have better things to do. Anyway, then you're going to go over with your team and you're going to discuss the questions and come up with your answers as best you can. And then you're going to come back and we're going to discuss them as a group. And then we'll score. And you keep your own score. I don't care. <laughs> no questions? Normally, when I started doing trivia for the first six, six months or so, um, I uh, uh, wrote all the questions. And then people were just getting into it so much they wanted to write the questions. So for the last six months or the last year or so, I've allowed people to write the questions and it'll every night it'll be uh, five different people write five different categories. And I don't know what they are ahead of time. And then I just play on each person's team. But tonight I'm going to do everything. So that should be interesting. I'm, I'm curious when you said allow them, you more so request them. Well, originally, no, originally she didn't want us to. Yeah, originally, originally I kept saying, no, no, Kevin I want to write Rob, about it. And so, let, we want to do it. We want to do it. Yeah, me and Rob uh -huh. said, come on, let, let me do one. And then she finally let us do it. And she realized how easy it was <laughs> to get other uh -huh. people to do her work. So, uh, <laughs> it's like I'm paying for this. Just like right? Wikipedia. Just like, <laughs> hey, it's crowdsourced trivia. Okay, so what I'm going to do? Wikipedia, let's work for you. I'm going to okay. uh, now. I'm the teams that you're on now are going to be your teams throughout the whole night, but they may end up adding people to your team, or maybe a couple people will leave your team. So just keep that in mind that it might not always be uh, the same number. <laughs> I'm going to try to stay for the entire night. You can do it. Oh, Adam you might boy, do it. I might have to leave. He's got but, eye uh, drops to keep him nobody's away. Nobody's allowed to leave. Yeah. I, have, yeah. I, have, I have locks on all the doors. So there's going to be a little leaner right now, but it'll get busier in a minute. So hold on here. I want to just divide you guys up so that I don't have you guys. Just talk amongst yourself for a couple seconds there while I'm, I'm trying to make sure I've got it evenly spaced. I don't want too many Canadians on one team. <laughs> well, we just got our friend Pam from Fort Myers. So I saw that. Yeah. Hello, she's, Pam. In our, she's in our group. Okay. I'm the only one, aren't I? I'm going to have to check this out on a Thursday then. I, I'm looking forward to that. That'll be fun. Yeah. Okay. We need to. Here comes somebody else. Where's Rob? Yeah, where'd Rob go? Yeah, I saw Rob. Where's be. Leonard? Don't be here, Leonard. don't worry. I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. We needed to go get dinner. So one week we should do a draft. Pick five captains and draft the teams with Susan. They can make up the questions at the moment. No, no, no. We'll have five oh. captains write the, the captions, but they also get to draft their team. Oh, they're always coming like, up with something. I'll take do. Carl. I'll take <laughs> <laughs> I'll take Bob Bob Flockmeister. I want him. How are you? How are you going to figure out who gets to go first? And Bob uh, we'll and Carl will never dice. get to be on the same team if we. That's roll okay. It gives it guesses. balance, and then you have uh, somebody roll the dice to decide who goes first. I've got some interesting people here today. This, this should be this should be interesting. You're you're you're, you're comparing like a guy who is a. A musical virtuoso on many instruments to a guy that can pick out a tune on a piano or something. Okay. No, I'm gonna open up the no, we've got we've got a guy with chickens. So Carolyn, don't go don't go to your room. We also have a chicken. guy with chickens. So just and hello, Glenn. I see somebody new named Glenn just showed up. So all right. So you guys are gonna follow the prompts. And don't go to your room, Carolyn. Right. So you guys go to your rooms 
Okay. You know what to do. I sure hope so. People have been around a while. Guide everybody else how to do this. We'll we will do that. Be nice, huh? Be nice to these people. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Have fun. See you later. Okay. Bye now. Okay, bye bye. I must pause the recording. This should be interesting. Should be very, very interesting. Here they come. <laughs> well, we've got an interesting uh, name for ourselves. Well, it's evident right there in Susie in Susie's <laughs> video. Yeah, but it can be looked at in so many different ways. Well, that's that's okay. It's all about the. the that's okay right? too. Yeah, you're gonna be nice, right? I'm being nice. I'm I'm behaving. You're on your best behavior. I oh, am yeah. on my. We have best guests behavior. at our house tonight, so we didn't. Vince is always behavior. nice. What are you talking about? Who? Vince. He's always nice. Vincent. He always yeah. has to tell dad jokes. Well, well that's that's I, not being not nice. That's just you know. I don't hey, know. Vincent. I just, are we I, being I just, recorded right now? <laughs> that's the only thing he does is I, complain I, yeah, about I being recorded. We are. <laughs> I just met the. I just met the other Vincent. I, I think he's a little nicer. You oh, no. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. See, I Ooh, not, competition. Not only I'm the not that nice. nice. <laughs> we haven't yeah. been able to tell yet. We don't know yet. He's Canadian. We don't know. Nice. Susan and my team, we spent all the time thinking up a trying to think up a name. We didn't really talk to each other and introduce ourselves. So, <laughs> so we did yeah, the we, opposite. We were pretty rushed. Yeah. We just <laughs> talked to each other and hardly had time to think up a name. So, all right. So let's see what we got. <laughs> you did it the right way, Deborah. <laughs> Deborah's a taskmaster. We That's made why. the mistake of going for the name first. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, team number one, who shall no longer be known as team number one, unless, of course, they name themselves team number one, is uh, Pam, Susie. Terry, Vincent, uh, the Vincent in, in, in Calgary, and uh, Wendy. Susie's, uh, as you can see in her video, she's got cats all over her. So we are the cat house. <laughs> oh, That's wow. good. Okay. And you just want to spell like the cat house. Okay. Very risky. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, at least you're not the chicken house, the bird house. <laughs> <laughs> chicken coop. There you go. Okay, so next up we have Gail, Jamie, Kevin, Sega, and Sharon. Who are you? Put it in the chat. Oh, the Dewey Decimals? Decimators? The Dewey Decimators? That's good. Oh, uh, it's because Sharon's a librarian. You guys were influenced by her. Huh? She picked it out. There you go. Okay, next up. And it's funny because you guys are all rearranged in my wherever you were a minute ago you're not there anymore so annie jay jenny mitchell and paula who are you guys playing us tonight paula well the last one i heard was washington generals so i know how to spell it no R only you know how to spell it there's no R in Just because I can pronounce it correctly doesn't mean you know. Do you know who the Washington Generals were? They played yeah. the. Uh, yeah, you're talking about George. Oh, they, and they played the, 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 the Globe Trotters. They yeah. played the Harlem Globe Trotters every game. The, the perennial enemy. Wow. The perennial you know you enemy. Should have 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 <laughs> Susan, I kind of wanted to go with uh, the name. Don't know one. Don't know one mentioned Punch and Judy. Yeah. No, sure. that's too, that's too, too inside. Uh, inside. Inside, inside, inside. Inside. No. inside. Okay, so the no, Washington you know, Generals, right? Are you saying that our first category is going to be Punch and Duty, Susan? Oh, I've got to have, wow, look at all those oh, letters in there. Yeah. I guess you're going to be spelling it correctly then. 
the Washington mm-hmm. Bulls. Good job. Um, okay. Deborah, Glenn, Michelle, Sarah, who are you guys playing us tonight? And we're the very ah, stable geniuses. There you go. There's some politics. Very, very stable yeah. geniuses. Good job. I'm going to watch this in general. So. I've seen some rude things they've come up with in the past. Okay. So, Bill, Bob, go. Janine, and Vincent, the other Vincent. We are the skeptical book, book chickens. Book, book, book chickens. <laughs> Put it in chat if you want me to say it. Oh, the skeptical book, book chickens. <laughs> okay, I don't get it. He has to make the chicken noise all night. There you go. <laughs> I like how you spell that correctly. Book, 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 book. Okay. All right, yeah, so here's how it's going to start now. And we're going to start. We're on time, bad. That's just not like us. So we are on July 16th, 2022. This is our Skeptical, the second time we've ever done a Skeptical, a Saturday, which is a very rare event for us to do. And we have five teams that are playing. They're playing for the honor and the privilege of being the winner of Skeptical. And thousands of people are going to see this on Netflix and YooHoo and Peacock <laughs> and everything. We're just all over the place with people who are just like talent agencies looking to see if they can find some future. I don't know, Jeopardy. You can use this as a Jeopardy. Like, I, you I'm, know, I'm, you can play for Jeopardy. I'm skeptical. You are skeptical. <laughs> okay. So we're on game 116. Whew. We have done some categories, season three, because we're in year three, and we're on episode seven of season three is the way we've looked at it. And a lot of these are recorded. So if you ever want to go back and look at these things, you can. They're on a channel on on my YouTube channel, and I can get you a link. So we have tonight five teams. The teams are the Cat House. Oh, here comes somebody named Dorothy. I'm going to let her in the door. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I'm going to put her over on, I'm going to put her over on this one. Come in. Dorothy, hello. Welcome. Never know. So the teams we have here are the Cat House versus the Dewey Decimators (laughs) versus the Washington Generals versus very stable geniuses, versus the skeptical boop, boop chickens. <laughs> I love it already. Deborah, I'm making you a co-host so you can handle oh. the, the stuff that I can't do. <laughs> I don't know what you can't do. Math, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the math? Oh. <laughs> you get to do something like that. <laughs> Pronouncing <laughs> Washington. Yeah. <laughs> you get to pronounce the Washington <laughs> pronunciation thing this has all been a, a a dastardly plot for for me to i force everybody to learn how to use zoom everybody takes turns each game i make them learn how to use mute and how how do you yeah, where is that i've that. never done this Where's everybody's so good at it now so um where is mute, the mute button mute all is under breakout rooms no oh. that's not it it's under oh it's under okay. participants i, I looked there I don't see it yet. Okay, maybe you didn't do it yet. No, you're there. <clears throat> I mean, I have the participants. I just don't have the mute thing. So if you so go, to everybody's already muted. I think. So okay, I so if you go to yeah. participants, no, no, we aren't. Um, mm-hmm. Sometimes uh-huh. it matters if you're on the icon or the little arrow. Oh, so I was on a little arrow. arrow. So Deborah, just, open up the hit, try the hit, icon. Hit participants, uh-huh. and that little box will open up. It's yes. like a like it'll pop oh, up. Oh, okay. I was doing the arrow. Okay. Yeah, that's I what I thought. All so right. that's where it is. Okay. Every so other remember, every guys, other thing is on the arrow. You can unmute by hitting the space bar, but only if it's funny. It has to be good and funny. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna. What I'm gonna do is this is a little unusual. Is that I have picked things that are all skeptic related. So don't panic. If you don't know all this stuff, that's fine. Somebody in your team probably will, or they're as clueless as you are, or make up something. I don't really care. It's it's not about we're going to win anything in, in the end of this thing. So these might be a little difficult for some people, or they might be a little 
easy for some people because of just the nature of creating categories that are interesting. It's just the way it is. So we're going to start off. I have a degree in social history. So therefore, I find history extremely interesting. So what we're going to do, category one is this one in the chat. It's moments in skeptical history. So these are the things that you may need to know if you're new to the community. So if you don't know these things, write them down, look them up. If you do know these things, then you might be doing well in these categories. So I'm going to pass, I'm going to post all the um, questions in the chat. Don't say anything and don't type anything. And then when you get into your rooms, you'll be able to discuss it with everybody. Okay, I'm going to mute everybody. Three, two, one. There. God, that was so eloquent. I said the most funniest things. No wonder you guys were laughing. So I will explain briefly some of these questions because, you know, it's good to have a little history, but I don't want to have over explain it. So if you really have a question about something, you can ask in, in your room. So question number one, Tam which was the amazing meeting, the James Randi Educational Association, TAM 8 in 2010, who gave the don't be a dick talk? So don't say anything, keep it to yourself. Oh, pencil and paper, pencil and paper, or pen and paper is a good idea. I should, I should have said that. If you have it, if you don't, that's fine. Question number two. The name of the TAM, the amazing meeting, TAM 2011 conference, had a bit of an out of the world name. What was the name of the conference? Question three, this is a little longer. In 2011, the Skeptics Guide of the Universe host, Rebecca Watson, stated that she had been asked for a coffee in an elevator. In her video, she said, guys, don't do that, which sparked years of infighting and division that continues today. What country was that elevator located in? Don't freak out, people, if you don't know this. That's okay. We'll get to stuff that's a little different in a minute. Question four. In 1995, this person came up with a name for the podcast that would become Skeptic's Guide to the Universe. Who is the person who created the name for the podcast, The Skeptic's Guide to the Universe? Number five, who wrote Why People Believe Weird Things, published in 1997? I'm getting all these history out of the way. All right, number six, Ray Hyman, James Randi, and Martin Garner formed SIR, which was Sanity in Research in 1972, which was spurred on by the popularity of this person. Question seven. Who was the father of secular humanism, founder of Prometheus Books and the organizer and co-founder of Psychop? Psychop! Number eight, whose maxim is this? Do not try to explain something until you're sure there's something to be explained. Wise words that we should be living by. Number nine, seen by hundreds of millions of Indians. These are people who live in India. Sanal Edamarku was on TV for hours in the Great Tantra Challenge. What was the Great Tantra Challenge? Tundra challenge. Oh, we have some else now. Question number 10. There have been 17 TAMs, 17 amazing meetings. How many were not in Nevada? And that's the 10 questions. And we have somebody new, Elaine, joining us. Hello, Elaine. So I'm going to put these questions again in the chat for Elaine because she won't be able to see them if I don't do that. Let's see. 
Okay, so they all went in there, I think. If not, let me know. So I'm going to send you guys to your rooms. Be brave. I'll call you back in a minute. I'm going to come hop into rooms and see how you guys are all doing. So Elaine, we're going to put you in room four. And Dorothy, you're going to go in room five. You got it, Susie? Susie, you got to hit your, go to your room. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was too busy writing down stuff. Thanks. Elaine, you there? Terry, you okay? Elaine, you there? Can you hear me? I am absolutely worthless on this. I don't know any of the answers That's at okay. all. The idea is to meet people and socialize. It's a social. I just, uh -huh. I just wanted to enjoy. Well, that's all you got to do. So go to the room, hit the button for your room, and you never know. There's a lot of people in your boat, same boat you're in today. And the whole idea is just to meet people. Go and go and go follow the little link that says to go to your room. You're going to be in the skeptical book, book chickens room. No, no, you're not. You're in this very stable geniuses room. Terry, you okay? Good, everybody's gone. Now I get to go play. Let's go to first room. Astronomer. Phil who? Plate, P-L-A-I-T. Okay, thanks. And number two, um, in 2011, the name of the conference was CAM 9 from Outer Space. CAM like C-A-M? T-A-M. It's short for The Amazing Meeting. Oh, okay. Okay. And it used to be an annual conference in the summer. You And one of our questions is about where they were when they weren't in Nevada, but they were typically in Las Vegas. Okay. okay. So number three, the um, I, if I'm not mistaken, the um, the Watson coffee in an elevator um, uh, speech or the incident, I think was in Scotland. And number four, I don't know the answer to the the skeptics guide to the universe. I know. I know. Oh, <laughs> of course you know. Okay. Um, number five, Why People Believe Weird Things was written by Michael Shermer, S-H-E-R-M-E-R. -E -E I don't know the answer to number six. Number seven, the father of organized skepticism was Paul K And it yeah. was, I remember it had something to do with that she, they wanted to do something because to stop this from happening. And I don't remember what the something was because it didn't happen. Why was, why was being asked for coffee sexism? It wasn't. It was, <laughs> and there's it was, more it to it than that. A, some sort of a proposition being made. Sharon, Sharon could spend the night talking about it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, so know, what country I, did it happen in? That I, that I don't country? know that. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know, really I know, don't. I know. I know. <laughs> Of course you do. Uh, uh. I have no idea. Let's I move on and maybe we'll think of something on that. And I didn't copy these properly. So let me copy the next ones while you're thinking about the answer that I don't know either. 
the country was the elevator. She could have one. asked all kinds of things about that event, and I would have known, but not that one. What country doesn't serve coffee? Maybe that's why. <laughs> no, it's just no, it's, it's going to be some country country where there it's male dominated kind of a situation, maybe. So India. No, maybe, maybe like no. Japan, where the women have to walk behind the men or something. The word tantra is only cons considered to be specifically sexual ah, in the U.S. Ah, the ghost is present, guys. Is it? Yeah. Anyway, oh, uh oh, so anyway, but I, 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 I think I think Jay was on the right track with that one. Uh, the, the, the word the word tantra can be more generic than 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 just yes, you know, yes, it's it's a U.S. focus that it's sexual. Okay, well that's no fun. It's an energy focus if it's in you. I gotta leave so, the U.S. Me too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we going with that? Yeah, I think that's what it is. What's the answer in 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 a sentence? Um, it's the time that a guy tried to kill okay. Sonal Maruku with his words, and the words, if I remember correctly, were killy, gotcha. killy, 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 killy. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. I don't remember those exact words, but I think I remember that incident. I remember those exact words. Mm -hmm. had about maybe three or four guesses and then the rest of them I had no idea so this is good and there's Susan look at that nice is that a real mask or is that a, a zoom mask that's a real one <laughs> and we have Elaine hi Elaine hello Were you here for when we were talking about the, all the questions and answers, Elaine? I have been listening, but I know nothing. Okay. I wanted well, to just join to observe and listen. Okay, so what you heard, I couldn't tell if you were here. So. Yeah, that's, I muted myself because I really have nothing to contribute. I just want <laughs> to listen and enjoy. <laughs> okay, well, that's okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm very, very new to this. My sister invited me to join the conference tonight. Good. Welcome. Okay. That's a good Thank sister. You. Welcome. Yes. Okay. Well, we're, we got we got through all of them. We're done. Susan. I'm sitting here talking and da 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 da. da. <laughs> were you? Were you Why talking? Was you talking? I asked we did not hear you. Sister we, we didn't hear a thing. Elaine? No, I think you might have been muted. Yeah. Yeah, I was muted at the time. Okay, so you're you're done, right? We're done. We're done. Okay, let me go. I'll, I'll bring it back. Can't overrule what I don't know. All right. Lastly, there have been 17 The Amazing Meetings. How many were not in Nevada? I think three. All right. I'm guessing. I'm Nine trying months. to go. UK, Florida. Oh. Well, I heard I, of, was there an Australia one once? Yes, okay. and Australia. Yeah. So that's Those least, were so, the only three I can so think of. The, the, the floor is three. So. Oh, I think there was more than one in Florida. Is that true? I don't know. I don't think Susan can tell us. I mean, she could, but she's not I going to. I don't think so. I think just one. Just the one? Okay. We're going to go with the three. All right. Hi, Susan. Yeah, I'd forgotten about the UK one until Dorothy showed up. Mm. <laughs> I remembered Australia yes. and Florida, but... I got, got hidden. So you got all. You think you're done with your category? Uh, yeah, we got we all. We, we have answers for all ten. Have answers for everything. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna bring everybody back.
May they all come back. Okay. Only that was really that. fast. That was really fast. <laughs> How do the answers get submitted? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna tell you the answers, and you're gonna oh. just within your team, whoever's charge of scoring is the one who's scoring. Hey, okay. uh, we ha we have somebody who just joined, just just seconds before you came in. Bruce, are you there? Hello. You you grade your own test. Yeah, you grade your own. Nobody, there's no money involved. Well, <laughs> will my team forgive me if I put in my answer for the last one that I was saying as you put, left? Yes, put it in. Please put it in. <laughs> Okay, Bruce, I know you just joined us. I hope you can hear us. Just hang in there for a minute. They're about to go over the answers of the first round and then we will put you into the second round. Okay, that's fine. No, you can, you can just use chat, Bruce, that's fine. Susan, I have a request. Before you go into the next round, would you please go a little slower? Sure. It was hard for us to get it all under our belt. The, the deciding part or the... No, questions. well, both probably. Um, the question. Yeah, I was I was going to ask for extra time, but okay, no problem. I figured you guys were um, in the chat. What okay. what some people do is they copy and paste the questions out and put them in a document so that they have them. I I, I I'm going to do that for my team. So yeah, some people yeah. do. All yeah, right. I don't have my iPad. I forgot to ask. And I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. So this is my first time. <laughs> no problem. You are you are not alone. <laughs> okay, so the first one is a very famous talk. There you go. That works, Bill. That's a good idea. Screenshots. So the very first one is, uh, and it was really nice to see Wendy get here. And she was like, first one is this. This one's that. This one's that. She knows her stuff. <laughs> but it was nice to see a category that Wendy really excelled in. <laughs> yeah, I know because I, I'm really stupid about most other things. Well, oh, yeah. no, the categories tonight. Like, there's five this categories. To me, it was like, oh my god, I remember all of this. All more chances <laughs> for you to prove yourself, so don't worry. Yeah, so so don't worry. The other categories you probably want to do well in. No, I'm only kidding. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's how it is. Well, wait, wait till you get to be our age, and then let's hear you say that. Okay. Well, it's true. <laughs> Yeah, you okay, know so, it, but you can't remember. So the, so the first one is a very famous talk that it would probably be a good idea for people to look up if you've never heard of this before. It's called Don't Be a Dick. It was in 2010. It was by the the um, the astronomer. Plate. He was called the Bad Astronomer. And I put a link to it, his YouTube video there. So that's so the answer is still Add a link to that talk. Is it? I've never I, I think that's a link to his talk. Okay, because I've never heard that talk. And, and you're right. not supposed to excuse yourself before a talk, um, but I'm going to do it anyway because I like breaking. Yep, that's it. So, so it was a very famous talk. In other words, don't be a dick to people who you're trying to communicate. Not skeptics. With. Yeah, non-skeptics or even people who are skeptics. Just in general, don't be a dick. So it's a real famous mm -hmm. thing. Number two is Tam Nine from Outer Space, which was a movie. Mm -hmm. And that was the theme for the conference was TAM9 for Outer Space. It was the first one I ever actually spoke at. I did a Sunday paper. Number three, I have, I bet nobody got this. It's what? Ireland. I, I knew it. Oh, you did? Wrong yeah. it, was, I uh, it was at an atheist uh, conference too. Most people, most people say it was at a TAM. And it, was, yeah, it was at an atheist Paul and I conference. Both knew that one. Yeah. And I said the wrong British Isle. But you got close, huh? How don't you dare call one. Ireland the British Isle. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, number four I is who created the who created the um uh name for the skeptic guide to the universe. I know that sounds really obscure to people who are brand new, but this is a person I wrote his Wikipedia page years ago. His name is Perry DeAngelis. Yeah. He died. Genuine. Well, people really this is like people will go and they'll listen to the uh the skeptics guide to the universe which was Stephen novellas you if you were here today you heard him talk uh he and Stephen novella created that unit that or that group and uh people who listen to the show they'll i mean he's been dead a long time now he died in 2007 and people will go through and listen to all the podcasts in order and they get to the point where he dies and people burst out crying and they write to the SGU and, and, and they, and the SGU says, you know, it's like we lose him all the time because people are constantly writing to us, finding out that he's died and they just can't handle it. It's really bad, but it was a really important guy, really neat, 
neat person. Would we get a point if we said Steve Novella? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no mercy. None. Absolutely yes. not. But he is I hard. wrote that Wikipedia page. You guys are supposed to be paying attention to it. So we get a point if we said Susan Garbick? No. <laughs> I'm going to smack them. Okay, the fourth <laughs> one, the fifth one is a very popular book that a lot of people have read. And if you haven't, you really probably should. It's written by the person who, who organized the, um, who is in charge of the Skeptic Society, Michael Shermer. Southern California. He's in Santa Barbara now. Is he? Yeah, they moved. Yeah. Okay. I, today, I enjoyed when he had their talks over at uh, Caltech. I bet you did. Those were good. Yeah, you can always walk. So the next one is another important moment in our in our history. This is Uri Geller. Oh yeah, yeah. Uri Geller, the stone yeah, but... uh, That's the only one I know. So this yeah. is, this yeah. is, the, one, this good, is the reason for Psychop starting. The reason me too, the, the organization started because I think you guys might have heard me talking about Ray Hyman and James Randi went to go. Uh, Ray Hyman was asked to go to to a Alice Cooper concert, Alice Cooper and James Randi. James Randi worked for Alice Cooper. He was the guy who guillotined Alice Cooper at the end of every show. And he asked Ray Hyman to come up and talk to him in Portland, Oregon. And during that, he said, we need to do something about this Uri Geller person. And they started an organization called Sanity and Research. And then it became CSI. Okay, number seven, humanist, very popular man who started a lot of organizations and they're all blended together now, Paul Kurtz. Yeah. Prometheus books. Um, those books I was giving out, Sega um, on Wednesday night, were all coming from Prometheus books. So those are all from his company. He had a publishing company. Not that I expect you to know that or anything, but. Cool. This is a very, 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 very famous maxim that you should always pay attention to whenever somebody's trying to give you some story about something. Instead of going to the research and trying to explain it and saying, well, first start with, did, did it really happen? And the maxim is by Ray Hyman. Do not try to explain oh. something until you're sure there's something to be explained. <clears throat> start there first. Very important um, piece of information. Number nine, and I heard Jay talking about this, and he is absolutely right. I think a billion people watched this. It was it was so famous. And if somebody could find the, the video and put it in the link for everybody else, uh, Sunu, Sunel, Sunel Edamarku. Edamaruku. Edamarku. Edamaruku. Oh, I think it's, it's well, whatever. Sunel. <laughs> and the guy yells at him over and over. Killy, 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 killy. It was a god man on TV. And the god men are very famous in India. And so he was put on a TV show and the guy was supposed to kill him with using his words. And then and then he didn't kill him, but they had such a high viewership that they just kept going. And I think he was on for hours because the- Killy, 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 killy. Yeah, and then he pulled out a big old freaking knife and he was taking the knife and wiping it on him. And oh, it was so scary. But they just they just got rid of all the other shows that were supposed to be on after him and just kept going because they had like, a, I think, a billion views. It was incredible. <laughs> so if you ever get it, so if you get a chance to look at this video, somebody put the link in there for people. Or you could just listen to me yell over and over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 17 Tams. How many were not in Nevada? And the answer is five. Yeah. <laughs> there was Florida, Florida, UK, Australia, and oh. I think another Florida. Let me see here. There, a there's two UKs. UK. Oh, two UKs. <laughs> Sorry, team. I forgot about the ones that weren't here in this country. And here's the link to the... Uh, Wikipedia page we wrote about this. And if you look down at the bottom, it'll say the the locations and dates. Do and, we yeah. is there do we get any points at all if we didn't get all five? 
<laughs> you didn't have to name them. You just had to know. Plus a minus one. Plus a minus zero. Plus a minus zero. <laughs> She's okay. so cute. She did that with a straight face and everything. She did. Do we get, no, Wendy. Susan, do we get extra points? Nice one, Wendy. For knowing some of them? Sorry. You forgot Sorry. the bonus. There is no bonus. So I'm going to go through the rooms now. This is this is the history part. I wrote these questions a while ago, so I think they're going to get easier after this. So we'll see. All right, I'm going to go and ask some scores. So one person on your team, tell me your score. The cat house, five, five for the cat house. The Dewey decimators, the Washington generals. We had nine. Sounds like a plan. Some ringers on your team, huh? Number nine. Sounds like a plan. Tam mm -hmm. nine from outer space. Plan nine. Very stable geniuses. Seven. The skeptical book book chickens. So my internet cut out for the answers for nine and ten, so I didn't hear the answers. So I can't. I haven't scored this. We yet. got. So, we didn't get ten. We got nine. We didn't get ten. So okay. I got eight. Okay, perfect. Thank yeah, you. That's what I got too. Oh, well, that's good. So we I have to score seven. I thought if you didn't hear them, you don't get points at all. <laughs> as, long as, yeah. as long as somebody's on your team, you're it's okay. Negative <laughs> points if you're not on my team. The chickens caused interference in the reception. No, actually, I, think, I, I actually think it was the Roomba that was going around the living room, but okay. Okay, so now this next category, this is going to be equally difficult for everyone. I think even people have been around a long time, so don't. So is this supposed to be discouraging? Yeah, I just want everybody <laughs> to know. So one of the things that's not here tonight is that um, because of the time difference is that we have a lot of partners outside of the United States besides outside of Australia and New Zealand. Wait, wait a minute, Susan. We made a mistake in our score. Oh, is it lower? We had eight, not nine. <gasps> Because yeah, we didn't yeah. get the U.S. and we didn't get the right number of. Yeah, I said eight. Camp. Did I say eight? Did you say eight? Okay. Yeah, you oh, said wait, eight. wait, wait. You got eight. Okay, which... we got eight. Okay, yeah, my that's... mistake. No, no, we're on. Okay, okay wait, which team Sorry. are you on? You're on the last one. Uh, the last team. Okay. The Sorry. books. Okay. Eight. Oops. So that other one. Okay. You scared me. You scared me. I'm so sorry. There, is, there is a group out there that you guys have not heard of or barely heard of, it's called the European Council of Skeptical Organizations. These are people, this is a lot of groups, a lot of places, a lot of countries that exist with skeptical organizations. And they have conferences every two years that have been held all over Europe. There's all sorts of exciting things going on with them. Um, we've written all their Wikipedia pages in all kinds of languages. So this is like near and dear to my heart is that we need to understand there are other organizations out there besides our, our uh, the English speaking ones. So this one is called the European Skep Council of Skeptical Organizations. And there are people in England and other places that do speak English, sort of, if you call it that. But <laughs> <laughs> there's no one here that's from England. All right, okay. So this category is a little different. What I've done is I have created a little chart and I'm going to put it on right now and I'm going to screen share it, but I'm going to give you the link so you guys can actually look at it yourself from your, from your own thing. And what you're going to do is I'm going to show you the logos and you're going to, and I'm going to give you 12 countries. And you have to match the category, the country to the logo. Oops. logo? So I'm gonna give you the, let me give you the let me give you the, the countries real quick. So here and they're in alphabetical order. So two of these won't be used. Okay, here's the ten. Here's the twelve countries. You're gonna you're gonna take ten of these and match them to ten logos does that make sense yep okay so here i'm gonna i'm gonna screen you want to mute us all before you do this i, I can do, do that mute. that's Deborah's i can job. do that hang on if you're ready for muting here we go mute. 
mute. There you go, muting. Okay, here, I'm gonna screen share my... Except for you, Susan. <laughs> Susan, you need to unmute. <laughs> I did. I know. And then I didn't back again. Okay, so hopefully the only thing you're gonna be able to see is my, my screen. Let me see if there's anything that you guys can't see. Okay. Does that show? You guys seeing a logo? Yes, okay. this is ASCII. Okay, this is a logo for one of the organizations. So I'm gonna give you this link in a minute. So you'll be able to look at it on your own in your groups. So you're gonna end up picking one of the countries that matches to that logo. It's a skeptic, they're all skeptic organizations. There's number two, see the number up here in the corner. Here's number three. <laughs> this is going to be equally difficult, I think, for everybody. So here's another one. So you might jot down right now what comes to mind. And then you can argue it out in, the, in your team meetings. Here's number five. Here's number six. Number seven. Eight. I can't show the whole thing because it's got the name of the, of the country in it. This is the main part of it. Nine. Same thing. If I showed you the whole logo, it would show you the name. And 10. It's quite clever. I like the logos. Okay. So I'm going to give you the link. You can go in your rooms and you can. Um, Look, somebody can screen share or you can look on your own. Now you're looking for 10. I gave you 12. You, somebody want to open that, make confirm, make sure it works. Yep. Oh. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Have fun. Uh -huh. And I will put you, Vincent, back in your room. You're in five. Yeah. And Bruce, good luck. I'm putting you on. Got it, Susie? You're mute. You're mute. And Bruce, you got it? Susie, do you see your breakout room? It should be right there. It might be under a screen or something.
It's probably under one of the um, found it i i'm on a macbook and i'm just i have not had it very long and sometimes i just lose exactly where i am terry's not there either she's been having internet trouble so i'm not sure that's normal for her okay breakout room yeah she's in her room okay that's just her text yeah 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 okay And then GWUP. Someone, I, I don't know. I my German sucks, but I think that's Germany. Oh, yeah, I was thinking ten was Germany because it says DE. I, I was thinking too, but yeah, I would say D. Yeah, I would expect D E or it, Deutschland. It could, be, it could be Netherlands too. I mean, I'm fine with it being Germany. So that was my first thought until I saw the last one. And I, I don't know. What about the owl? I don't know, but the owl is adorable. It is. <laughs> it's a really good owl. <laughs> yeah. I like the owl. So it seems like a very modest owl. <laughs> um, no guesses yet. Um, and then the KSP, that's, God, that's what you call it. Um, that looks Sweden. like Sweden. Yeah, nice. I kind of thought that too. Okay. I'm not that I'm, my Swedish okay. is pretty bad too. I don't know any of those languages, so you're. Uh, I just my favorite my favorite sentence in any language is "yagaterintelhepidona," which is "I do not eat the turtles." <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a really good team name. Yeah, if you if you need one useful phrase, that's definitely it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I ain't eating the turtles. No. What about the guy pushing the brain up the hill? Huh? That's, that's a like great that. logo. I yeah. love that. Sisyphean brain. Yeah. That's Sisyphus sort of like brain. Yeah. Sisyphus brain. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Any thoughts? Oh. Brainy guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let, let's process of elimination this and see if we can get in or yeah. if we feel more confident about others okay this guy suddenly i got it like doing uh, one at a time instead of... <laughs> i was i was thinking and this is completely I wonder, ridiculous i wonder if i was in the ksp I know that their organization is VOF. So, mm -hmm. and I don't see something that might be VOF here. Mm -hmm. All right. What countries do we have left? Let's pick something for nine. Exactly. So you have, you have yeah. Belgium, Czech Republic, Finland, Ireland, Poland, Sweden, Switzerland. I'm sorry, did you say Belgium? Yes, Belgium is an option. Yeah, so I'm confused now because, you know, I mean, number 10 could be Belgium too. It's true, but Belgium is bilingual. Right, and so, right, so it could be French. I mean, they, their organization could be French here. Yeah, so I don't know, that's mm. tricky. Uh, if we don't actually know, there's no point in second guessing, just pick something. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we, at some point, we just need to pick something. Let's yeah. go back up to one and start picking at one. All right, ask E question mark on something that sort of kind of looks like a billiard ball. <laughs> um, that could be Belgium, Czech Republic, Finland, Ireland, Poland, Sweden, or Switzerland. Um, you want to go with Ireland? Let me see. Uh, 
Everyone shuts up. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Thanks a lot, the ghost, Susan. The ghost is here. <laughs> okay, well, what do we have left? We have Belgium. Czech Republic. Czech Republic. Finland. Finland. Hungary. Hungary. Poland. Poland. And Switzerland that we have not chosen yet. This is assuming, of course, the rest of our guesses are correct. Yes, of course, which we know they're not. Yeah. That's fine. Mm -hmm. there's only, yeah, there's only 10. So two of these are false flags to begin with. Okay, what do you think four is? I've never seen that. They need to get a better font, <laughs> better design person. Well, you know, what? it's just some guy who put it together. <laughs> well, remember, one of Very these letters. Efficient. See, I think one of these letters could be a country. So, like the G could be. I Germany. think that's Poland. A G would not right. be Germany. The D would be Deutschland. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, okay. But Polska. Fine. Polska. The, I. I. So I would say. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll Poland. take that. Four is Poland. Yeah, if it ends in Polska. Yep, then, uh, I like it. Good. Um, I agree. I've been talking all along and I've been on mute, which is really fabulous. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not usually that quiet. So, yeah, um, I agree with the Finland and the Poland. Yeah. Finland, Finland is as... three or six. Now, uh, for four for Poland, right? And three for Finland? Three for Finland. Three. Okay. okay. I agree with that. Swami. So but we're left with six I'm, and seven. I'm, number six, it could be that question mark could also be a P. I'm just saying. It is a P. Yep. So oh, that, that could be Poland so as well. That's right. I was thinking also either one, it could, either one. I'm not oh, sure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, we could guess Poland for both of them. You we can. could. We Why could. Not? Yeah. You want to do that? Sure. I'm okay with that. That's tricky. It's a game in the system. <laughs> Love it. Love it. No rule says we can't do that. We're probably going to get at least one wrong then. Oh, really? <laughs> oh yeah. no. Yeah. How are we going to pay the rent? <laughs> and what about Sisyphus? Ugh. That's and an interesting. That's an interesting design because that's it pretty is. Those, yeah, a choice. Sisyphus Instead of a boulder, it's a brain constantly having to roll it up that hill. What countries have like we not that. used yet? We have not used Belgium, Czech Republic, Hungary, and Switzerland. Uh, and Switzerland, yes. Hmm. I'm going to go out on a limb and say maybe Hungary, because there's a lot of surrealism that goes on in Hungary. True that. There's lots of surrealism in um, Czech. There's something about like being Poland, part of like too. Eastern block yeah. they had to get away with a lot of stuff in their films i would say it's either czech republic or hungary it's one of those could it be ireland i'm just thinking of, of you know the yeah that's the only thing about that 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 like sort of jumped out at me but want to why it would it be ireland? more irish than Hungarian, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Susan, this is this is as good as the ones we had last last what last Thursday. <laughs> We're all just guessing. <laughs> we have no idea. You said that we get easier. Oh my goodness. I see Bruce is typing in the chat, so we need to make sure we see his uh... when I said it'd get easier, I meant it'll be more equal. Well, it's equal because we're just getting the <laughs> brand new to the org. She's brand new to everything. She's as lost as everybody who's been here for years. So it's equal. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm mean, brand I, newly I, incorrect. I've never seen a single one of those before. And this is an educational moment. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys all know there's at least 12 groups out there, and 10 of them have logos. Well, all 12 of them have logos, but. I can't wait to go and talk to the the people in charge of the um, the conferences and the European skeptic conferences and everything and say <laughs> I'm going to give them the audio for this video uh, for the um, for the, oh. I'm going to give them the video and say here 
Like your logo, we don't have a clue. <laughs> but everybody's complimenting the logos. Everybody, yeah, we everybody's are, struggling. You guys, this is was way too the hard. The octopus for one looks like it should be called a quadrupus, and he's flipping <laughs> yeah. everybody off. Which one? Three? Number three, the uh, the the octopus thing. So which one is most Wait. likely to be flipping people off? What country was more likely? Uh, I think we got Germany. It right in that case. Germany flipped off <laughs> no, the whole world. No, the world no, war the Italians. I'm feeling it. <laughs> We said Italy, but it could be Germany. It could be any of them. Could be anything. <laughs> it could be. Anything. <laughs> That's the reality. So are we fit, are we going back now, or because we should? Susan's still with us, so she hasn't oh, decided. I, it's no, no, we're not going back. Everybody's I mean, lost. Everybody's everybody. <laughs> every no. team is lost. That's why I was saying, are we going to go back? I'm going to be universally hated. We finished. Guessing. We have ten. I'm going back. I'm universally hated. <laughs> Don't worry. I can't because I can't control what I'm doing here. A little to really understand what was going on, but that was the McCarthy era. And there were people who yeah, exactly. were persecuted well, here. I mean, Literally. it was rough for the communists, let's put it that way. Do those numbers look good, Susan? Hey, Susan. She doesn't Is say. She... I don't. No, she can't say. <laughs> look at her. I can, I can <laughs> tell you that everyone is struggling and everybody's going to hate me yeah well we don't know we're just guessing because we don't know i'm going to look it up now though we i mean not guessed. you know yeah yeah I know. after this i'll give you I links i'll give you links okay because they're cool looking i want to know yeah we're very, very curious about the octopus and the owl that is i want to know yeah and the, the owl i think is is what do we got and the guy shoving the brain up the up the oh, hill. Yeah. I love that one. I should. That's I. You know what? You guys should all get T-shirts from all these countries. Whatever mm -hmm. you find out what they are, you're gonna be like, "All right, oh, I have to have a shirt." Yeah. Go or on a website website conference. And order a T-shirt. <laughs> I love it. Well, oh. I hope we got it a few right. Oh well. You're equally as going to get them right as much as matching. all the rooms are going to get them right. My... If you get, uh, if you get yeah. one or two wrong, you've got them all wrong. <laughs> or you could go with picking one and naming all of them that, and then you know oh. you have one right. Oh, oh well, there is I, that. That's the oh, Rob wow. plan. Yeah, I know. It's not as much fun. I don't know. That's something that you would do to win a to win an electoral college vote. I, you know, it just mm -hmm. sounds stinky to me. Well, it looks yeah. like, it looks like you got numbers for everything, right? So I'm yeah, thinking yeah. Get We're ready. calling everybody back. Let me go look we one do. more room that okay. was in earlier and see if, how they're doing now. Okay, bye. Bye. Finland and Netherlands. Does everybody, do you guys got something for everything? Do we just did? We just yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna call people back. I just yeah. wanna check and see if you had. Okay. A total stab in the dark, but yeah. <laughs> you and everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. I mean, it's not even the same as the stuff that's in the Olympics. You know, it's like <laughs> oh, yeah, it's right. pictures. So we don't even know those flags. So yeah, our, our reasoning <laughs> behind one. some of the choices is very, very thin. <laughs> yeah. Or non-existent or something. Eaten I'll be on. Mm -hmm. It's four full bites. Yeah. They went They're for huge. This and they've nice. got a number for good. everything. We have a number okay. for everything. Yeah. I'm going to call you something back. up. You and everybody else. <laughs> yeah, that was not fair. <laughs> that was hard. Yeah, it's a hard one. I apologize, sort of. Yeah, it's not your fault. No, she doesn't really. Right. Remember, she said she thought it would be easier. No, no, <laughs> it wasn't easier. It was just everybody's equal now oh. because no one because nobody well, knows no but even the person who has been in has been aware of the community for a day is as equal to somebody who's been around as long as janine has mm. you're all yeah, she was useless she couldn't <laughs> no knowing nothing is just as easy as knowing everything for a minute yeah. i thought we were being screwed with but i guess i've we, never was... i've never been to europe so well mm. now we have reason and i know massimo massimo's been to my house Mm hmm. All right. See you there. Point. <laughs>
Oh, yeah, whenever Susan shows up, it's recording in progress. <clears throat> well, I'm pretty confident we got 10. <laughs> of course yes, not i know you didn't oh, I'm pretty yeah. confident we probably got 10 too it's all wrong we have that's 10 right we have 10 yeah. that's right that's it we got 10 answers Vincent. 10 answers yeah we did get 10 answers yeah well when i said it would be easy i actually meant it's equal everybody equally is did horribly know nothing which is which is my point we need to be universal so we need to know each other and you know it's that's the kind of way we should be i i i feel that way but and since i'm in charge it's you know it's all about you yeah well i just want to make sure everybody knows that this is you know we, we can watch the video and find so nobody so yeah. everybody hates me now that's okay equally right? don't, <laughs> don't hate me for long Two around season. four Round four or round five is going to be Billy Joel questions. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Susan, you know, I love all your skeptical questions. Right, right. Of course. Okay. I don't get them all, but I know, but nobody did. So, okay. The point of this is to make people more aware of what's going on. The, the European skeptical society of, of uh, the society has a conference every two years this year. It's in Austria and it is uh i went to the one in poland a few years ago and it is so much fun it, they're usually done in in english but they bring people in from all over the place and they have speakers all over i would be going to the one in austria this year if i could if it wasn't for pan, uh, the pandemic and they're not bringing any american speakers but it's just, this is all important good stuff so let's go through the the um the answers oh and one of the things somebody brought up is they got some cool logos and you guys might want to pick up some of these shirts so that'd be fun i'm, so. I'm not a fan of the guap logo <laughs> 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 okay like so the number owl. one the answer like the is yeah, uh the association for skeptical inquiry they're in the uk oh, yeah right good job so, team that's the uk Number two is probably the easiest, well, the second easiest of all of them. And that's because a lot of people know Mazimo Polidorio, mm -hmm. who is a just a wonderful all around guy. He is in uh, Chikap. Chikap. I've been to this conference. It is massive. They held it at a in an old Italian opera house that and they treated us like gold. It was so much fun. So that's uh, Italy. Uh oh. Chica. So number two. Number two is Italy. Number two is Italy. Yeah, that's, the top one. that's not what we had. <laughs> okay, number three is I believe the long. Uh, I think this one has the oldest. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think they have the oldest uh, skeptical uh, journal of some sort, and it's uh, in Belgium. It's uh, Com right. de Para. I, I'm not even say it right. So there's their logo. There's their. They've been around since 1949. A lot of things. I think they had some that were trying to that were existed before World War wow, II. Wow, we but got they it. They couldn't. Um, they couldn't stay a skeptic organization when during World War II and the Nazis. Wow. So they they had to leave, or they had to disband, or they had to go undercover. Imagine living in a time where you couldn't. You couldn't um, be free. Now, this one, I'm really sad if you did not get number four, because anybody who was at the conference today, the first talk today was Edzard Ernst from the German skeptics, and that is Germans. And I am not going to say that name because that is scary. So we got it and we changed it. Oh, uh, and I'm a fellow of this organization. G W U P is how they say it. Whoa. So I have I I'm they've honored me as one of their fellows. Didn't I say that? Oh. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. The German? Yeah. And we decided no, it didn't have a D for Deutsch. Mm -hmm. So yep. yeah, that's a that's good reasoning. Okay, the next one is an organization that's kind of not, I don't think it's as active anymore, but I love this logo. 
it is the Irish skeptics, and this is um yeah, from Ireland. One, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five. This is the fifth one. This is the owl. Great yeah. logo. Yeah, my favorite mm -hmm. logo. That was really yeah. nice. We mixed up UK and Ireland. Yep, we mixed them up. So this one I did hear one group reason it out correctly because of the P at the end, it's the KSP Club Skeptico Polisk. Uh it's Polish. Uh -huh. Yay. Uh -huh. What is it? It's Polish. Yeah, got it. Oh, we got it. It's the K, the S, and then the question mark, like a backwards question mark. Great, great one. So the, I, when the conference I went to in Poland was the sponsor for this, from for the one I went to, we went to Warclaw, and it was so much fun. And the next one, uh, somebody from our GS, anybody here who's on GSOW, so any of my GSOW team members, people here, mm. and the Girl of Skeptics, on, Girl of Skeptics on Wikipedia, you guys really should know these because every Wikipedia page I'm putting up here, we wrote. <laughs> <laughs> and we wrote it in the language of that language. So wow. this next one is Czech. Mm -hmm. So this is wow. Sisyphus. So it's the uh, Czech Skeptics <laughs> Club Sisyphus. And the Sisyphus <laughs> people are, um, the person who runs this organization is Claire Klingenberg. And she's in charge of that. And she's also in charge of the European Council of Skeptical Organizations. So she's really awesome. She's great. She is great. So that's Sisyphus. That's a brain. Oh, being awesome. Beautiful. We changed it from the wrong question, wrong answer to the wrong answer. So there's <laughs> no... <laughs> it's perfect. Okay. This next one doesn't have a Wikipedia page. It is the, it's the Swiss skeptics association for critical thinking. Hmm. I Which think that's number is, seven, right? Eight one did it look or eight, like? nine, eight. Two, that's eight. The next one is um, I've spoken to this group. I stayed a couple nights there and I spoke to them. Very interesting group. I'll pull up their Wikipedia page. And it is the Hungarian Skeptic Society. Um, and there's uh, Andras who was going to be giving a Sunday morning paper talk and he, he is just couldn't do it. What's the symbol? The number nine. What was it? It was like a, it was like tan and it had like three letter letters. Second to the last. I don't see it on their Wikipedia page. Like a little question mark with a, with a thought or a. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it had like a little speak. It had like a, uh, like a chat emblem underneath. If you look yeah. at these, on, if you're looking at the Wikipedia pages on the left hand side, you'll see it says languages. On the left hand side of the Wikipedia page and underneath that you'll see where it's written in the language of that language you'll see the language there it says Magnar which is Hungarian and last but not least this is near and dear to our hearts because uh if you're in GSOW the person who is one of the biggest um uh one of our more prolific editors is um the skeptics uh, foundation in Netherlands. Oh, yay. 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 Okay. Skitching skeptics is what it's called. Skitching skeptics. Skepticism. Hey. I think they just changed their logo. Did I get that right, guys? We got four. And here's the here's the here yeah. is the um, European Council of Skeptical Organizations. They're the people who who handle all of the groups and uh, coordinate them and put on these large mm. conferences. And uh, it shows you all the different conferences that have been over the years. If you ever do travel again in the future for work or whatever, and you want to be going to a European country, there are organizations that have like, they, they have meetings all the time. And the, heck, if you're, flow, if you're coming in from somewhere in the United States and you're gonna be in the area, let me know. We'll see if we can hook you up with them and the, you just do a meetup with the people, local people, <laughs> they'll be fine. The buy you a beer. <laughs> so this was a hard one. Let's do our scores. I didn't realize how hard it was going to be, but you know what? Oh, well. <laughs> it was equally hard to everybody. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen and show you the um, score thing. And then we're going to take a group photo so nobody move. 
And then we're going to take a five minute break. And then we're going to come back with something that I think is going to be universally hated. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think it'll be different. It's the next one at the category after this. Maligned. Stay tuned. It's not necessarily going to be anything mm. you have to have any prior knowledge of, no TAMs or anything like that. So let's do um, the scores. And scores, 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 scores. Okay, so let's start with the cat house. How many points? Four. Okay, you're tied for first. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the Dewey decim decimators. Two. Uh oh. Oh, here comes Kyle. Who gets Kyle? We do. We do. We well, got the low score. It's going to get we Kyle. We have like two people now. Okay, very stable oh. genuses. Uh, five. Oh, and you think you're going to get Kyle? Well, we well, <laughs> did you skip Glenn, team three? Yeah, Glenn, because you guys got a good team. You got a Glenn you're, said you're, he's leaving okay. and Elaine disappeared. So it's we don't have anybody. OK, the skeptical book book chickens Four. Four. oh, you guys are in the I yeah. first and the team that was in the lead, the Washington generals. We got five. Oh, wow. there you go. Look who's still in the Ella lead and not had. getting Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's some strategy associated. You're supposed to kind of just like, you know. But we like the strategy. We'll take Kyle. When you know that there's another person coming in. So let's do a, um, let's do a, a photo. And then let's go. And uh, so anybody who's not on the screen who wants to be in a picture, turn on your screen long enough for me to take a picture. And then I will look and see whose team I'm putting Carl Kyle in. Hey, look at that, Jay. Hi, Jay. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, let's do it again. Darn it, I wasn't ready. Okay, hold on. One, two, three. Let's see. Don't move. I might. I'm checking to see if I got it. Okay. No, let's make sure. The chickens are moving. Oh, You're gonna get a blurry picture. Oh. Okay, you can move. The chickens okay. are Jay. Which one? Jay didn't stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kyle. 16th, I'm putting up on my Facebook page. And if Jay wants to put it hey, somewhere, there's Kyle. good to see you. Good to see you. I think they're desperately wanting you, Kyle. They're about that's to going to depend you. on the next category. They're, they're going to fight over you like you're a, a, a wishbone. <laughs> no, All just right. saying. The first two categories. Well, the first one was the eh. second one was extremely hard for i'm really good average. at eh. well it was four on average how well do you know your european skeptics groups mm, well i learned a lot from the skeptic zone i'll tell you that well they're not european <laughs> that would be a problem no no i get it but they're always covering you know stuff there's little segments right well we had logos Ooh. <laughs> yeah That'd be tough. Okay, so whose team am I putting him on? It looks like it's the Dewey Decimators. Who's got no, who's got uh, team one? How many people you still have left in your team? Uh, we have four, I think. Okay, and team two, Des Dewey Decimators? How many are there left in your team? Five, what, four, six? Five. five, six, whatever. Okay. We have Washington a Generals? We have 27. Okay. You ain't getting them. Oh, <laughs> Very stable geniuses. How many people are left of your team? I might be round. We have three. Okay. I'm not sure what happened to Elaine and Glenn said he had to leave. Okay. And the skeptical book book chickens. Not Elaine's a baby skeptic and she got intimidated. She's my sister. Oh, is we were wondering who she belonged to. Yeah, she she felt like she wasn't contributing and she wanted to just like be a fly on the wall and couldn't participate. So she said sayonara. So Aww. sorry. About and the She's next category, skeptic. she probably would have done fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so to lurk. I'm... And she's in four. She was in stable genius, right? Yeah. Okay. And number five is the skeptical book book chickens. How many people are you think are left on that team? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where to put Kyle. We'll take him. 
Well, everybody. Wants <laughs> well, we want everybody him. wants him. Everyone yep. wants him. Come on. I think I'm going to put him on because Dewey Decimate. You, you got a lot of people on that team, right? You got like six. Four. We have four. And how many on how many on the cat house? Four. Okay, you're gonna go on. You're gonna go on the Dewey Decimators because they've got one point less. Okay, five <laughs> minutes, you guys. Okay. Five minutes. I'm, I'm leaving. Get... I'm leaving the video. I'm leaving the thing running. So just watch what you say about me. A skeptical sandwiches. I'm gonna go in the kitchen. I'll be right back. How's it going, Kyle? Pretty good. Good. Got here a little late, but I'm glad to be here. Good to see you. You too. Wish you were on our team, but we got that one extra point. So, you know, well, hey. <laughs> that's how it is. That's right. I remember at some point something changed with taxes and I could no longer get a deduction I once had and being angry about it. So, similar thing. Oh, yeah. Thing. Yeah. Frustrating. At one point, gets you over the line. Yeah, that's right. I forgot to get ketchup today, damn it. Not that anyone needed to know that, but I just thought I'd share. Better stock up with all these supply chain issues. Oh, yeah. Oh, according to some people here, they think that uh, there's no more pandemic. Yeah, same here. Uh, yeah. I've got news for them. We're in our and seventh wave. The only way in which I disagree with them is statistically. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Who is that? You guys aren't talking about electric cars or microphones, are you? Not no. just yet. We're working our way up to it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Lord, no. Everybody should be muted. That last one was really hard. Let me give you the link, um, Kyle, so you can oh, see be how good. hard it was. Yeah, yeah. See what I would have It got. was very hard. I gave him 12 names, European countries, and then I said, here's the links to their logos, but you have to, you have to figure out what, what country is for each logo. And it was really hard. It was. I'm I'm impressed that we got four. Was it by guessing or did you reason them out? Reason and guessing. It was a combo. Reasoned guesses. Mm -hmm. We thought oh, yeah. Was like uh, these two, are tough. So we called it Belgian. Belgian. Yeah. <laughs> there were some good guesses. I saw you guys reasoning them out. Deutsch and all yeah. those things. They were wrong, but it was they, they were wrong. wrong. Yeah, right. <laughs> never would have all... guessed G was for Gesellschaft instead of German. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously, it was hard. But yeah. in German, it's easy. It's the Geve up. Yeah, you get, yeah, you just said it. That was perfect. <laughs> I, I should learn how to do that because I'm a fellow, so I should probably know how to say the group name. But they've never asked me to do anything. So, well, little things, but nothing that required me to know their logo. Okay, I'm, I'm going to give you people... entertainment for a few minutes here. Oh, look at Susie. She's got a kitty diving all over her. That's yeah. I have foster kittens that I uh, took on. Well, I I had my shoulder replaced, so and I can't go anywhere for like eight weeks. So I have five foster kittens. Oh, look at oh, them. And they're in your laundry room. So cute. You know yeah. what? We have a guy who play a man, a husband and wife that play on Thursday nights. They're in Seattle, Washington. 
uh-huh. they foster kittens and they're in their laundry room and they do they bring the camera they put like their laptop in the cat in the in the yep. on the break so that we can watch the kittens climb around it's really funny yeah. being in everybody's yeah. life like that just getting to know them look at yeah. them they have been so oh. Cool. Oh, oh look at <laughs> your daddy give them the head i love the golden ones yeah orange kitties are the best kitties they are. I like all They're, kitties. I well, like all, all kitties All kitties too, are but, cool, but orange kitties are usually friendly. Yeah, look at that. Oh, there I see. Look at the sweetheart. <laughs> That's why we're the cat house. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Uh, yeah, that little guy. Look at that. Oh, you gotta wait, you gotta wait until they're ready to go, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he says, I'm out of here. I'm uh, jumping so on the shoulder. It's like the heck with you guys. I'm so cute. So, which which of the logos are you guys gonna go get a shirt for next? Oh, I thought about the one with the owl. Looks like the one that um for a skeptoid. It does. It looks like the skeptoid logo. Yeah. The owl one was cool. The owl was yeah, really good. The Sisyphus one. I like. I like the idea. Where he's trying to push a brain up the hill because it feels like sometimes that's where we're at. We're just like constantly the battle pushing a brain. Tell, up me, hill, tell yeah. me about it with psychics. Oh my god, it's yeah. like we have people come write to me all the time and they complain about the psychic and they're like, "Oh, he's a fraud. Oh my gosh, she took all my money. I'd like to get a refund so I can go to another psychic." <laughs> <laughs> You're like. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not going to help you get your money back so that you can turn around and give it to another psychic. Thank you very much. But I mean, that's how you feel. You're like, really? People that are addicted to heroin and they decide to go to drinking and then their families are not happy because they switch dependencies. Yeah. I swear it's just like, it is, it's, uh, James Randi said it's a rubber duck. You know, the, You're in the way. Unthinkable little rubber ducks. Okay, so we're back. It's been five minutes, I think. I'm back, so you guys are back. Okay, let me go to my. Can you move so I can get to my? So, can you move? Um, I'm not going to do announcements like I usually do. I'm just going to go right into it, just for because I know there's people from all over the place and they're not used to staying up with us so late. So the conference does start again at nine o'clock in the morning. I'll mention that, and we're going to start off with the Sunday papers, which I have five speakers from around the uh, different places. One is from Scotland, and I didn't use this logo. One's from India. One's from the, the state of Maine. You saw her today, Janice Boynton. One's from Colorado, which is Linda Rosa. And one is from our own group in the Bay Area as Sacramento Skeptics named Joel. So, and then we're going to also do Skeppity. You guys, that's going to be so much fun because it's, I, I don't know. I, I participated last time. I was one of the contestants. This year, I don't have any idea. I wrote five of the questions and I just, I'm just so excited to see that Bill Nye is going to try to guess my questions. You, you were supposed to write five answers. Oh yeah. Okay. I wrote five answers. <laughs> I'm just excited because I want to see, this is going to be fun and I can't tell you anything more. So it's been recorded. It's already in the can. I don't know the results and I'm really excited about it. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Plus there's some other really great talks tomorrow. So um, I want to welcome you guys back to to the excitement of Skepti- um, Skeptical. Thank you so much for coming out and playing trivia tonight. It's I know it's kind of weird, but um, that's just the way we are. It's all about, it's not about the trivia as much as it is about forcing people to interact with people they don't know and and just get to know some people and then have something to talk about and because I've got some skeptical stuff in there. It gives you a kind of a topic, but it's just more, like I said, nobody's Confused. making any money on this. I thought it was about teaching us that people sucked. No, 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 no. <laughs> and, and, and I'm trying to teach you guys to be better at using Zoom. Seriously. Okay. People who started- uh, with It's with about me, othering. Now the they other team, she's created othering. <laughs> okay, so the next category we have- this one's a, this is an unusual category. It's it's called random category or not. That's what we're calling it, the random category or not. And 
And for people who've played trivia before, they already know this, but sometimes from time to time, we have mystery categories where you, where the answers make sense with a theme. And sometimes if you know what the theme is, it'll help you figure out the other, the other questions. So this, it might be one of those kinds of things. So um, pay attention to the answers. It might help it's crustaceans. Out. It's crust. It's all crustaceans. So. <laughs> I have these, I have 10 questions for you. They're in exactly in an order they need to be in. I can't change the order for any reason. And that'll be clear later why. Okay, so here we go. First question. You wanna mute us? Before? I will do that. Hang on. Three, two, one, muting. Blast off. <laughs> okay, question one. In what athletic endeavor are pythons and crampons used? Pythons and crampons used. Okay. You should make your little notes on your little papers. Okay, this person I'm not going to say out loud because I will embarrass myself. So this person, Ludovac Lazarus. Zimmelhoff created what? I like the stunned look on all your faces. We look stunned. Okay. Number three. What vaccine was developed by Dr. Waldemar Hafkin, and I apologize to all his ancestors and all the people who have names similar to that. I have no idea if I said that right. Or I wrote these questions, I wasn't saying them out loud. <laughs> Otherwise I might have practiced. There's only so many vaccines, so that's nice. Okay, this one's a little longer. Mad Jack Churchill was a British officer during World War II who has what interesting distinction? He's the last person to kill someone in battle with this weapon. Oh, Mad Jack. Question five. This is the longest running magazine in the United States. Mitchell's got it. He had that confident look. So number six, Lexico was a game that was invented in the 1930s. What was its name changed to? And I will tell you, it is common. It is a, a it, you guys probably all know this. It's not some obscure, not some obscure game. Lexico invented in the 30s. Number seven. Oh my 
grab some. In Greek mythology, Momus was the god of what? M O M U S. What was he? The god of in Greek mythology. Okay, question eight. The International, the International Banana Club, which houses the biggest museum devoted to one fruit, is located in what U.S. state? You all should know this. The International Banana Club. Terry knows it, huh? She, she was there on her 21st birthday. <laughs> who's the guy who's who says that the banana is the atheist nightmare what was that we had him for a trivia category one time what was it ray comfort ray comfort that's it yeah ray comfort uh, i'm trying <laughs> to figure hitting? out what hmm? i'm trying to figure out what fruit the museum is dedicated to <laughs> <laughs> i don't know here's here's question nine number nine number nine James Randi used the back of what to prove to the court that he should win a lawsuit against Uri Geller? I like looking at your guys' faces as you reason these out. These are so great. What do you use the back of? And last but not least, question 10. What was the Mona Lisa painted on? Do you mean like a Thursday? <laughs> ah, we missed you. We missed you, Kyle. You could say Thursday. It would be wrong, but you could say that. Do you know that it's wrong? Yes, I know it's wrong. Okay. I know what day it was. I thought we weren't supposed to be giving hints. <laughs> Can I just say that I was a little freaked out by Bob a few minutes ago because not only does he have the chickens and the whole red, white, and blue thing going on, but his screen was sideways, and it was really kind of freaking out. He was he's in he's in Liberty uh, outfit. It's not the Fourth of July. It's, it's it's for the. It was freaking me out in a good way. I was well, very happy with. It. We have Karen Thanks, Bob. Karen who plays sometimes, and she used to play, and she would be driving, and she'd be like sideways and all sorts of ways whenever she's playing it's, i i wore this thursday and um i decided it's my lucky trivia outfit plus i'm oh, gonna wear it every day i'm i'm gonna go under undercover at, at a maga rally later i, I thought there were also great. lucky chickens lucky chicken chickens those chickens are lucky yeah, I was going to say those chickens are lucky because he's keeping them as pets. Yeah. That'll be good. So we have somebody who just joined us, Scott Neff. Hello, Scott. We're at the end of round three. You will just have to follow the directions as people go to the rooms. Let me put these in the chat again. By the way, it's 75 rounds. <laughs> <laughs> and Scott just left. <laughs> and well, you know, all the exits are locked. <laughs> yeah, for real. You're barred. You can't leave unless you give me your firstborn child. Okay, I put them back in the chat again. 
just for the benefit of Scott, who will be able to see them, who couldn't have saw, seen them because- Well, sort of. <laughs> they're sort in there. I'm putting him on the cat house. So be nice to whoever Scott is. Yeah. All right. I'm sending you to your rooms. Somebody explain to Scott what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle, well. you're going to room two. Good luck, teams. Just follow the link, Scott. Mitchell, go. They're wait they are awaiting you. Uh, two i'm not sure of but i do know three okay uh, three uh hafkin did two vaccines i think the big one was cholera that's probably what uh what you're going for but plague also i spelled that right yeah <laughs> okay and i'm pretty sure that one's the longbow Oh, okay. Yeah, he was a weird guy. <laughs> I, you know, you got the right name for him, right? Yeah, he used to he used to go into battle with like a sword and a bow. And he like he snuck up on Nazis and shot him with the bow because it was quiet. Well, that's certainly true. Yeah. Because yeah, then you could get a you know get another shot off without anybody knowing where he was. Right. Longest running magazine in the U.S. I I got a bunch of guesses, but I have no idea. Hmm. International Geographic has been around for a long time. I was thinking that, uh, but yeah. I mean, the, I, I mean, isn't like House and Garden like really old and yeah. And, um, I yeah, don't know how old Vanity Fair is. Um, and some of the, wasn't there like a, wasn't there a precursor to like time or something that, and then yeah, into time? I, I, think, I thought Vanity Fair was originally British too. Oh, okay. But I don't know. I yes, don't know. I don't know. That one's pure guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I never heard of Lexico. I think it's Scrabble. You mean Scrabble? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Have one. Oops. All right. And great mamas. Got me. Hmm. It wasn't on my, it was not in my book. That I had. <laughs> no, it's <good> yeah. mythology. <laughs> uh, I really into the mythology thing, and I don't know, it shows. <laughs> I mean, that was my guess. Okay. The longest running magazine in the U.S. is what? Saturday Evening Post. Okay. Lexico is a game invented in the 30s. What was its name changed to? Scrabble. Scrabble. Yeah, Scrabble. Sorry. Susan gave us too many hints. I actually knew that one. Well, yeah, but if you didn't, Susan really would have. Oh, yeah. no, I lost. I don't have question seven. Uh, where to go? Momus is the Greek god of what? Oh, that's right. Momus is the Greek god of what? Thank you. Wish I had an answer. Momus is the Greek god of what? Okay. Nobody's got an answer there. Um... <clears throat> All right. Um, well, maybe if we get the theme later, it'll kind of come to us. Yeah. Um, letters based on Scrabble. I don't know. 
The International Banana Club, which houses the biggest museum devoted to one fruit, is located in what U.S. state? Florida? Uh, California? I don't know. All right. Where can they grow them? You don't really grow bananas in the United States. So. Hawaii. Yes. Oh, that's true. You could grow them in Hawaii. But it doesn't mean the banana club's devoted no. to bananas. That's, yeah. that's what we don't know. I was making a joke. I thought it was bananas. Uh, James Randi used the back of what to prove to the court that he should win a lawsuit against Uri Geller? Does Dorothy know that one? Back of a napkin? I think it's the back of Susan's head. Oh, there yeah. we go. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, let's come back to that. Uh, what was the Mona Lisa painted on? Wood. wood. I thought it was wood. I think wood. it was yeah. wood. Yeah. yeah. Wood, wood, wood planks or something. Excellent. Okay, we're all we're all on the same page. But, but do we need something more specific than that? What type yeah. of wood? No. Yeah. Okay. I think wood will do I it. I hope not. Okay. All right. <laughs> like, do we need a type of wood? I don't like think it's, I doubt it. I think wood is good. I, th I think it's plywood. I'm pretty sure it's cheap plywood. <laughs> okay, Mad Jack Churchill. Number four. What weapon? Has anyone able to see any kind of theme with what we have already? It's one of those, sometimes it's like it comes right to you and other times you don't realize until after give all the scores what the theme was and then it makes sense i don't know i'm not there yet what, what were the two weapons that you said that he had he had a sword and a um uh, pro, uh some type of a um, longbow or you, hold on you said arrow 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 too. Yeah. yeah longbow yeah. she said i so i like that one a lot i do too longbow is good I, it's, it makes more sense than the sword i think well, I is mean, it... we could have battled him with the bagpipes because that's a scary weapon. Right. So you don't. Sometimes. So, you... but I, think I, would run from from I would probably <laughs> run away from those. Yeah. But he killed with it. Did he kill with the bagpipes? I guess that's possible. <laughs> Some people wish they could die. <laughs> he was actually shot several times, and he still didn't die during. Wow. The war. How you know this? I will never. So, know. so but what he was killed YouTube, with was an arrow. Thing. Is that what we're saying? Well, Long is bow and arrow specific Long enough? I think so. Well, God, I wish we had a theme and then I know for sure. Let's yeah. go with bow and arrow for now. Sounds good. Okay, sure. I mean, they're the same thing, but longbow is specifically, of course, a longer bow. Yes, too. it is, as a matter of fact, <laughs> in the name. So, so Altadena or California, that was the answer. Yep. Mm -hmm. Would, I'm looking at the things that I'm more sure on. Do we, do we get the vaccine one? We so were, we're thinking guessing smallpox, smallpox, but you know, but we don't know. We didn't have a we better. We just know it's not polio because we know who create who. What what's in polio the polio vaccines? What's in the shots that kids, um, at least until uh, last week, had to have vaccines in, uh, uh, to go to school? Like MMR. Bunch of yeah. Things. What's in those? It's, Mumps, um, measles, it's mostly rubella. puppies. Well, I, I thought maybe there were more. I don't have kids, so. But mutts, mumps, measles, and rubella is, is it? My, yeah. My... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I like spoon, but I'm kind of on the fence of it because the back of a spoon is kind of a weird thing to me. No, yeah. that, that's that's the... what. That, that makes perfect sense because of the yeah, way you've done it. Okay. You would have shown them. Yeah. How how it how it looks like. Got it. What was the point that he was making? That one of the things that Uri Geller claimed was that he could do it with he does did it by mystical powers. He could make spoons. Bend. You know, and then bend he'd it. melt the he'd rub it and he'd melt the, the, the metal and it would fall apart. And the lawsuit was specifically well, claiming that, that he was a fraud. Yeah, that the, he was the, wrong. the lawsuit was from Geller, who, who 
right. reliable or slam. Yeah, reliable. Or something. He won. Yeah. Yeah. Geller lost. And that's so he and Spoon, he Geller was most famous for bending oh, yeah. spoons and making watches start. Yeah, he was supposed to bend spoons with his mind. Spoons and keys. But it was a prop. It was a little gimmick for a magic trick gimmick. Yeah, you can and you can find what I'm about to say on on uh, YouTube. At least you used to. I haven't looked recently. It was a scam when um, one of the British magician skeptics uh, brought spoons for everyone at TAM. And we had hundreds of people who had prepared spoons. So we all bent to spoons with yeah. our minds. On, and, and they did a <laughs> YouTube video. Of hundreds it. of people bending the spoons with their yeah, and they've yeah. broken part. I still have my broken spoon. I saw my. Yeah. I've forgotten all about that, Gail. Yeah. Well, I remembered it because I have my broken spoon. <laughs> 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 saved it. Yep. So number two, Zamenhof. Um, so I have a wild guess. I think this guy might be a chemist that did something with gases. Okay. What would he do with gases? A couple of things. That's why I'm hung up. It might not be the right person I'm thinking of. They invented multiple things. Um, but if we've got nothing else, I don't know, maybe. Um, Kill someone in battle with, with this, this weapon. Correct. So it doesn't mean the weapon isn't being used. Any yes, it does. I think we can ask Susan. Susie, Susan. Okay. Need a clarification. Which yes. One? Does number four mean that this was the last person to kill someone in any battle with this weapon? Apparently. Or any famous okay. battle, I guess. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay, thanks. So it is that. Yeah. It's like, what is this antique weapon? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm about the, yeah, well I'm I would go with bayonet then because we sure as heck don't use them anymore. We don't get that close. <laughs> um. But also, it's a it the way the question is written was reminding me of um, God. And he ran for president, and now and then he was he's this I can't remember his name. He served as, um, okay. Uh, no, uh, -uh. he served as the Secretary of State in the Obama um, administration. Oh no, my pictures just fell off the wall. <laughs> Do you hear that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a ghost. Wow. It's a ghost. Yeah, it was a ghost. <laughs> what are you talking about, Wendy? Yeah. Did you summon a demon? <laughs> yes, she did. That's right. The glass broke it on the floor and everything. Okay. So John Kerry was his question when he went to, um, when he was young and he went to address the Congress was, how do you ask any person to be the last, you know, to be the last one to die in in combat that it, he was making a point about pacifism. And, um, and so that's what I'm thinking about this question. It's like saying, who is the last, per if you ask the question another way, on what circumstances was the last person to be killed in World War II with this weapon, not who killed him? I mean, I, okay, wait, 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 wait. We're missing. Vincent, wait, 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 I say wait, something? No, wait, wait, wait. We're missing Churchill. Yeah, well, it's no, we're bad we got him with a we got him with a bayonet. Vincent, could I make a suggestion between the question and the answer? You have a space. If you could group the question and the answer together, and then leave a space between questions, it might be more compact okay. easier sure. yeah that got to do with the oh, answer. oh we don't we're not submitting them we're just no, no we're just it's, scoring amongst ourselves i get it I my statement goes back to churchill yes uh-huh we haven't focused go on ahead that. i'm sorry to have interrupted well we haven't focused on the fact that churchill is brought up so yeah. is there is that something that is of note? 
and it was an officer. Oh, you mean you think they're referring to Churchill himself? No. No, no, he was too fat. No, he was, he was, whatever. Yeah. He was PM. He wasn't on the field of battle. Okay, so who has what interesting distinction, which was the last person to kill someone in battle with his weapon? I like, bayonet, I like bayonet because the clarification was this was the last time this weapon was used in battle. Yeah, so hey, that's... But wait. Yeah. This weapon. Bayonet only has one T, I think. Oh. Does it matter? We don't get counted off for spelling. Spelling, we don't care. Nobody spelling cares. does Oh, no, it's are you kidding? It's, a... it's not... Yeah, like, spelling is... is like, oh, you have to spell... <laughs> Vincent, you're making me I look evil. Games where, <laughs> no. you know, they I, can't even, I can't even say no. these words. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not the time it. to be OCD. Okay, I, and number three, I, didn't, I, what, I, didn't Louis Pasteur um, uh, create the... Being, you know, all I remember was it that people were kind of like, oh yeah, that, you know, like to remember what it was though. No. Yeah. And why did we say cereal box now on, on nine? Uh, I don't know. What is it, it sounds like something that Randy would have said. <laughs> That's tr kind of true, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, I just really think, it, I, I would still say spoon because just, that was his big thing you know that was geller's big thing and right you know um and you know what did he show the back of um you know i i i you know that's Cereal i don't know it's familiar to me okay all right I'm, I'm fine with either one i i i have no recollection of knowing what this yeah. was yeah i mean it's just a guess on my part so i have no i you know for sure but it sounds familiar yeah. Okay. Yeah, I kind of vaguely remember a story, but I don't remember what the, the, you know the content of the story was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember the gist, but not the details. But right. then... okay. Um. So, what else did they get? I'm trying to remember their vaccine cards. I mean, there are done? there are. Yeah. No, we're not. We need more time, Susan. We're, we're, we're just we're just stumped yeah yeah we're, stumped up. we're we're working our way through about three four more <laughs> questions i don't know that we're gonna get them yeah, oh. yeah i don't know i'm ready to give up i'm tired <laughs> this is taking the chickens are tired long. too so, yeah they are which which four do you have that you don't know maybe i can help you <laughs> There we go. No, you're not going to help <laughs> us. I'm not going to turn the you. recording off. No, I just want to hear which four you turn don't have. Turn the recording off. <laughs> Vaccine. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just the curious. Momus is the Greek god of whatever, where where the banana museum is, and potentially international banana club. Yeah, the international yes. banana club. It well, it's one of fifty. Banana. Mm -hmm. We have a one in 50 chance. And what's yeah. the fourth question you don't know? We're up, well, seven we're and eight. Up of water. We're I guess sure. nine, I guess we're kind and of- Randy. Kind of, yeah, yeah Randy's Randy used won. the back of what to prove to the court that he should win a lawsuit against Uri Geller. Well, I'm about to bring everybody back, so you better make some quick guesses. Okay. Because everybody uh, else is pretty close to being done or they're done. <laughs> That's he fine. was no help at all. Guess Thanks state, for the help, please. Susan. No problem. Guess a state, because you know you at least know something, <laughs> right? It's got to be one of 50. Yeah. No theme, huh? Not a chance. Uh, three. Where you been, Rob? Everybody's like, where's Rob? Right. Are you interviewing me on Tuesday and it's going to be video also? Do I have to like look good? Or is it just going to be for? Oh, well, those two questions. Yes. And it's up to you. Oh, I'm fine with it. I just got to make sure I comb my hair or something. Yeah. I'm going to do just like we did with the Tyson one. I've, I've got it queued up to listen to. 
I don't, I don't know if I'll get to it tonight, but I've got it sitting there saying, don't forget it. And your article too, selling the paranormal. Yeah. So that was like I said, the first one that they ever had to run through legal for me. And it took them about a week. I, I guess Nick was just busy. Probably didn't take him that long really to figure it out, but probably yeah. took a while to get to it. I'm going to close yeah, the book, rooms. Book, so that was, a, that's a friend of mine who worked at a place where they, you know, push this stuff. And while she was there, she became a skeptic and then it was like agonizing for her. So it's basically her story of what goes on there and what she went through. Well, it looks really good. This is that friend we met at your, um, uh, no, no, you've never met her. Oh, so here, here, Rob, I'm going to give you the, the, the category they had for two that everybody kind of hates me over. I gave them 12, <laughs> I gave them 12 countries, European skeptic countries, and these are the logos and they had to match the logo Ooh, to the, wow. to the country. I gave them 12, of course, there's God. only 10. So oh my coming God. back from three right now, this is the mystery or not round. Mr. What was the, and what was it? So you tell me one, what was the other category that I missed? Oh, the uh, first one was uh, moments in skeptical history. Oh, that would have been good. It was really mm. good. Wendy was like, she just like, I know all these. <laughs> it was great. She was like, where, boom, where, boom, where, boom, did, where boom, did you boom, get boom. them from? Just from your memory or did you? Yeah, there are things anything? that they were all moments in history. I think everybody should, should know in the skeptical world, but there's a lot of new people here and they're like, oh my Lord. <laughs> Rob Palmer has joined us. So keep that in mind. Who wants Rob on their team? Hi, Rob. Uh, usually the lowest score. Well, let us report that score last then. <laughs> well, he's, he's, he's got to listen to this whole. He's he didn't get her in time for this. So Susan wrote the questions, Rob. So mm. they're Rob amazing. They're amazing. This kind of suffering. Oh, no, there no, 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 no. Punch he's and Rob. Judy lighthouses. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And skeptical logos. Skeptical now logos. In that category. The skeptical logos was intense. The average score of four. That's Whoa. because people guess. <laughs> well, there you go. See, what people who didn't score? like my birds of the nation. The average involved. score was five. So. Well, that this was easier than the birds. At least. No, no, average score. No, was it wasn't. <laughs> we did oh, it wasn't. <laughs> Well, at least you should know your skeptical European skeptical organizations. Okay, so let's we're back for round. What was that round three? Yes. yes. All right, here we go. This is the random category or not. So question one, you guys, and you know what? You guys did great. I went around your room. I was really impressed with a lot of the stuff you guys are doing. My favorite part is being able to go around the rooms and listen to you. That was really, I was really impressed with this one. Okay, and what in athletic endeavor are pythons and crampons used? It is mountaineering. I will take climbing. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. okay, question number two. Whew. Luvak Lazarus Zemelhoff created what? He created Esperanto. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, is that a coffee? I, I have no clue what that back. <laughs> It's I have a no language. Clue. What is that vaccine? I have no clue. I've been a nurse for 47 years. On uh, number two? Yeah. Number, what vaccine? Three. number two is the, what did he create? He created Esperanto. What is Esperanto? Oh, it's a made up language that they were trying to make a universal language. It yes, is not no. a vaccine. Yeah, it's not a vaccine. <laughs> That's why you've never <laughs> heard of it. Number three. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a language right. that somebody made up to try to have a universal language. Esperanto. Okay, wait. The Universal Esperanto Association was headquartered in Emeryville, California, for a long time. Mm. Only a slightly larger percent of people take the vaccine than learn Esperanto. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. UFO. Well, I was in a room and Wendy was uttering some phrase in some language, oh, okay. and my picture frame fell off the wall and broke on right behind me. It did. Oh no! Oh, we heard it. it's on video. Well, it happened all the way from Los Angeles. It's a ghost. Okay. Question three: The vaccine developed by Dr. Waldemar Hofkein was cholera. Uh, yeah. oh, Many and several people got that right. Never guessed it. Okay. So now this one, I'm so impressed with you guys. Mad Jack Churchill. You know, Mad Jack. 
was a British officer during World War II, had, had what interesting distinction? He was the last person to kill someone in battle with this weapon. It is a bow and arrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll yeah. take a long bow. Nice. It's fine. That's fine. Long bow's fine. Paul is like, I got this one. <laughs> I've seen that video on Mad Jack. I got this one. Mad Mac, he was crazy. <laughs> she had it all figured out. <laughs> Okay, longest running magazine in the United States. It's still being produced. It was made in 1845. So at the end of World War, no, Civil War. World War II. Before the before World War. War. It's before. Scientific American. Uh, yes. oh, really? Siam. Mitchell got it. Kevin oh, got it. Jay, looks like one. got it. Hey, very good. Sharon got it. Well, Sharon's a librarian. You better have gotten those. She got it. We yeah. subscribe. I, I had it. JJ Bush. I got JJ. <laughs> Which, for this current crowd, had an article talking about Kenny Biddle and his electronic, you know, figuring out what the electronics really did for ghost hunting. Yep. Nope, that's not one of the questions. Okay. Uh. Question six. I've never heard this, but boy, you guys have. Lexico was a game invented in the 1930s. Its name was changed to Scrabble. Yeah! Oh, yeah. You guys had that. Boy, I'm impressed. I never would have gotten that myself. Very got that one for us. Very good. Wendy, did you know that one? Hmm? Yeah. Wendy, did you know that one? Scrabble? I didn't know it, but well, somebody on our team, on my team it did. Was, Terry. I did. I yeah. didn't know it, but I figured it out. Uh, Lexico, lexicon. Right. Words. Yeah, from thought, the left. We thought yeah, it had a key in it. It's a cognate. Yeah. Okay. So well, in Greek I used to play, play a lot of Scrabble. Yeah. <laughs> And in Greek mythology, Mamas was the god of ridicule. Uh, I will take, yeah. I will take somebody else, put something else. What was it? Uh, mockery. 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 Mockery, that's fine. Mockery, Same. ridicule. Will you take spite? <laughs> Satire. Would you take contagious disease? <laughs> How about volcanoes? <laughs> volcanoes. <laughs> no volcanoes either. Unless they're sarcastic <laughs> volcanoes, then maybe. <laughs> we were Ours was a sarcastic contagious yeah. disease. And we're so, so, so Kevin, I, I assume that God has some special meaning for you, right? Yeah, I kind of knew that one. <laughs> Kevin Mock. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, oh, I get it now. Oh, okay. And I thought you put that on that purpose. No, I didn't me know. That there, is, didn't... that there is no link to any of these things. I didn't Let's make put a that mockery out of mocker. Okay, so the International Banana Club, which houses the biggest museum devoted to one fruit, is located in California. Yes. I believe somebody here knows it. It's that in Southern California. Yeah. Where is it? I've been there. It's uh, down in like Altadena or somewhere around in that neighborhood. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, I'm I'm Let's all go. You want to go, yeah. Wendy? Paula just knew to me. I want pictures. Wait till I get down the hay. I'm going to be in LA doing a talk on the 20 August yeah, 21st. House. So we'll yeah, go to the International know. Banana Museum. It's in somebody's mm. house. I've, Romero yeah. did a category on bananas already. Yeah, the yeah. Some, some guys <laughs> like, I don't know, friend or colleague or something handed him a roll of like a thousand Chiquita banana stickers and it just went from there. Yep, that's what it was. Uh -huh. I did a lot of research on it a, lot, a long time ago. Okay, <laughs> number nine. Somebody got this one right. And somebody no. almost got it right. Boy, oh, right out of their no. mouth, they started to say something like this and somebody else changed the subject on them. <laughs> so James Randi used the back of what to prove to the court that he should win a lawsuit against Uri Geller. Cereal box. Yay, all right, good job. Mm -hmm. Tara got it right off. <clears throat> and I watched Kevin go, oh, well, that sounds like this would be the back of a, a, like, you know, it was a common magic trick and you could find it on the back of just about, and he, uh -huh. it, it got changed and I thought he's going to say cereal, a box of cereal. Sarah what said, that sounds like that? something Randy would have said and it sure did. So he was trying to, he was mm. being sued and he was by Geller and he was trying to say, it's the what Geller does is so common and that you could find the trick on the back of a magic uh, cereal box. Wow. Mm. That's super cool. Yeah. Mm. And, Julie, and Sarah knew it. 
No, I guess it was it. the gimmick, right? The magic no, I think gimmick. You had the- it. You said you, you reasoned mm-hmm. it out somehow. I said it sounded familiar. Yeah. It sounded like something you would say, but I didn't actually know it. Oh, okay. Well, you well, could just fake you, it. You, you knew it enough. That, <laughs> I'm, I'm delighted to know that. So it's a cereal box. So that was good. Okay. And what was the Mona Lisa painted on? Wood. 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 Okay. Yes. Yeah. Very good. So I got some good scores. So who came up with the category? <laughs> Uh, I think that was a Thursday night uh, mis- mashup. It was no. crustaceans. Robin Hood. Are you talking about? Is there is there one? No. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> they were. Yeah, they were, were the and we got to wrap up with the category because we said there wasn't one. Yeah, I said yeah. it could be. You said there wasn't it one. Be. It wasn't. It was actually, these were old questions that I have written. They, they've been here for almost three years. And my little bank of things that I came up with questions on, I tried to do a category all on bananas once and I couldn't come up with, I had like four. I could never come up with six more. So these are old questions that have been standing in my hand for forever. And I just said, I'm using them tonight. Just like when you're playing Cards Against Humanity, you got all those cards in your hand. You're like, I think these are the cards where I was dealt in my hand at the beginning of the round. And you just want to play them. Anyway, so there was no theme. I just thought I'd be mean. <laughs> I told Adrian what I was going to do. She goes, oh, that'd be really mean. Do it. Do it. <laughs> He's devious. Yeah, I do a theme. It's a theme. If, if you guys <laughs> saw, you guys the don't play often. These people who play all the time, they're being very nice to me right now. This is like they're on their best behavior for you all because this. Is, I'm usually like absolutely eviscerated by now. So yeah, one time we had. A team I was just making Susan, up for it. One time we had a team name. Susan is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they've had everything they've had everything okay Even so let's just scores that's great they've had every team name you could imagine like hey Suri, order me no hey alexa order me 150 pounds of macaroni salad <laughs> and people's people's uh alexas went on that was my favorite <laughs> yelling at their alexas no, no don't do that yeah you activate everybody's alexa. like stop stop don't order it <laughs> Okay, here's where we are. Let's see who's going to get Robert robbed. All right, question three, this round three. So we're going to start with the Dewey Decimators. Got a seven. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Stop, the count. Stop, Stop the count. Stop the count. Stop the count. We really want Rob anyway. <laughs> the cat house. Three. Three. Yeah. Ooh, you might be Ouch. getting robbed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you might be. The skeptical yeah. book, book chickens. Or you're trying to get robbed, but you, you're not. Mm. The very stable geniuses. Eight. Nice. Damn. Nice. Oh, nice. Wow, have you're got, in the lead. Have you got Carl Stash somewhere? Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. A lot of these are things that I picked up in pub trivia. Oh, great. Well, there you go. Nice. The, Wars- the Washington Generals. We got seven. Oh, nice. oh, leader oh. right there, 21. Knock this out. Okay, so Rob's Close going game. into the cat house. Okay, <laughs> okay Rob. <laughs> well, well, uh, Enjoy yourself, you Rob. So much for your reputation. He does have cats, so he'll fit in just fine. At okay. least he won't. At least he won't leave like that other guy did. Holy! Yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm I'm leaving now. So uh, what? What? Well, he's uh, in New York. Yeah, I'm, I, it, it, it's after midnight for me. All so. right, Mitch. All Bye. Right. Bye. Congrats, Mitch. Bye, Mitch. Bye, Mitch. Bye, Mitch. Bye. Bye. Okay, Bye. this one is should be a well, quick round. I'll, I'll stay for the questions. This is going to be a quick round. <laughs> Trust me okay okay so you either are going to know these right away or you're not going to know these right away and i think most somebody in your team's going to know these by the right way away. since mitch is leaving he's dead to me <laughs> <laughs> if i happen to know a lot of these i'll stick around a few more minutes yes just to yes okay okay <laughs> this is i'm going to give you i'm going to give you a bunch of podcast hosts from our community and you're naming the podcasts oh dear simple okay Deborah, do your do your dirty thing there. What dirty thing am I doing? Oh, that dirty thing. Okay. <laughs> that dirty. I get to have fun. What have I been missing? <laughs> okay. 
I think I should do all of the, I should name all of them on mute. I think that'd be really funny. I should just do it all on mute and you guys would be like, what? Okay, here's the first, here's the first podcast. Seth Shoshank and Molly Bitley. And I believe every one of these is current or current-ish. Do, do I have to re recuse myself if I was interviewed on one of these? Well, next one is Ross Blotcher and Carrie Poppy. Ross was just at my house this weekend. <laughs> so some of these are going to be super easy for people. So if you don't know them, don't panic. No, Somebody seriously, in your team I, I was interviewed on that first one, <laughs> which is weird. Next one is Leanne Lord and James Underdown. Number four is Neil Denny. And in the past, Progdig Reedy, Richard Sanderson, and Becky Hogg. 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 Okay, this next one is. I put it in place. I can't see Michael Marshall, and in the past it was Haley Stevens. It's also on this show. You're not numbering them. I know. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five. This one's number six. It makes me type. Him at Meta and Jessica Bloomkey. Okay, number seven is Darren McGee, Adam Gardner, Elaine something, Pat Roach, and Christina Roach. So jot it down and move on. Next one is number eight, Pontus Bulkman, Annika Harrison, Andras Pinter. Number nine, Ben Radford, Pasquale Romero, and Celestia Ward. Number 10, Julie Galef, and in the past, Mosmo Palaguchi was on. So we've got podcast listeners here. It is going to be simple. And if you're not, hopefully you have somebody on your team as a podcast listener. Jason's here. What am I going to do with Jason? Rob's going to go in the cat house. And I'm going to give... Um, I'm going to put Jason on the very stable geniuses because there's only three people over there. Okay, dog. Cool. Okay, okay. Okay, you guys should have gotten a room thing, room invite. I didn't. Yeah, you did. It's no, there. Well, you've got powers. You can just go any room you want. Seriously, Kevin, <laughs> go. Oh, okay, see that. Wait, hang on. These are easy, huh? There. Four. Okay. Friendly atheist. And uh, uh, first one Friendly is. Atheist. The, so the first one, you, it's the SETI pod. It used to be the SETI podcast. Now I don't know what they call it. I'm trying to remember. I know this. It's something science. It's sent. It's, uh, uh, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. Because they they 
they did, um, they covered our, my first uh, skeptical activist event before they changed their name. But, but it used to be the SETI podcast. Anyway, it'll come to me. Okay. okay well, let's put that down for now. Number four. I think she, I think, um, um, Lee and Lord, I, th I think had more than one podcast. Well, is that, is that no, no, no. That one is for sure point of inquiry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Never We're mind. sure of that one. Um, I don't know number four. Four number is five. Neil Denny. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Any, anyone know number four? No, I was just... No, okay. Anyways, go ahead. Number five. Um, it could be Be Reasonable, <laughs> or it could be like a Merseyside Skeptics podcast. Anyone know? Mike Marshall definitely does Be Reasonable, which is one of my favorite podcasts, which drives me crazy because he's very reasonable. <laughs> he's far too reasonable. Anyone? Okay. Either six or eight, I think, is, is ESP. It's the European Skeptics Podcast. I just well, don't remember which one it is. Well, both of them to do a... I got both of those people to do a promo for Gorilla Skeptics. Uh, so that is um, the Friendly Atheist. That's what I wrote down. Does anybody know Seven? Because I don't know any of those people. No. Mm. Uh-uh, it doesn't ring any bells. The only one that sounds familiar is Adam Gardner, but I can't recall why that is. Uh, eight is the ESP. It's an interesting name. European Skeptical Podcast. Oh. It's the real ESP is their thing, yes. Oh, okay. With an exclamation mark. And Annika <laughs> was, a, was a Gorilla Skeptics editor for uh, Susan and then became a part of that team, which is really oh. cool. You know this one, right? Oh, uh, Massimo Pugli. I don't. Uh, I'm... I'm a subscriber. Oh, number nine. Number nine. Um, I know it like the back of my hand, and I'm just blanking. This is during a blank. Squaring, squaring. Squaring the strange. Yeah. Thank you. We have answers for everyone but for Susan. So we're ready to. Get this, oh, get this out of the way so we can get Some of the other up. skeptical podcasts. Hmm. But Bob's falling asleep. So is Janine. So. Oh, well, that's normal for them. Yeah, we got to get this underway. We're close. I'm in central. I'm in central time. Yeah. He's been chasing chickens. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna go to visit the other rooms. I think we'll be close. We'll be okay. Fairly sounds quick. good. See you soon. I'm trying to remember where I've been and where I haven't been yet. He's sorry. He's tired. Yeah. He's tired because and three. Maybe we could reason out the name. That might even be the name. It, it might be, yeah. Um, but wait, 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 reason? wait, wait. No, no. For good reason? Is that that or is that? I, yeah, this was like DJ Grothy was the host for a long time. And I think they reused the name. Is it For Good Reason or? There was one called For Good Reason. And I have listened to that one. Maybe. I think that's well, better than CFI anyway. Since Susan is here listening and we've got everything we're going to get, um, you want another banana question? Seriously. I've already, I have, I've already done I, them. I'm, I don't I, have to do anymore. <laughs> I was waiting for when he did the banana questions, I was waiting for the one question I knew an answer to and it didn't come up. But you know what bananas are medically very, very good for? And this really is science. Arthritis? No. Bananas absorb moisture in the in the colon so if you have 
mild diarrhea or soft stool, it will harden them. And you shouldn't eat bananas if you have constipation because it'll make it worse. Mm. Well, thank you, Gail. I don't know if I'd like that visual of <laughs> people with a banana. So they're good That's or they're why I didn't bad. tell it to the whole group. I waited till you came. They're good you. or bad? You I, I really bad? appreciate that. I learned you, that. And I'm I leaving the room now. <laughs> what did you say, Gail? They were you good or bad? Go get a I'm not going to go get a banana. I'm, I'm kind of done. Gail, what see. did you say? They were good or bad? Well, it depends on what your problem is. I All the time. How are you guys doing? We're doing a lot better than I thought we would do. We're... <laughs> do you have an answer for everything you think? We I'm might be. Well, we nine for 10 or 10 for, what do we got? Nine or 10? I mean, we don't have seven. I don't seven. Seven. Oh, okay. I never heard of these people, so I don't know who they are. Karen McKee, Adam Gardner. Uh, it, that one sounds familiar, but I don't know. I, the name sounds familiar, but it could be that, I don't know. We've got almost 7,000 people at work. It could be that we have a Darren McKee at work. Okay. Maybe he does a podcast. Where do you work, Sarah? Uh, franchise Tax Board. Here oh, in Sacramento? Right? Oh, yeah. okay. Oh. I've written them checks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me too. You know the name uh, Ellen DeAngelis? Uh, he's got, she's got 7,000 people work there. Well, I know, but she's high. Ellen's up there. So, I mean, she's a, one of the administrators. Oh, uh, we have. 400 administrators oh okay <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm gonna i'm gonna end up bringing everybody back here we come walking down the street get the funniest looks from everyone i meet hey hey Hi, Kitty, Terry's Kitty, Kitty, Kitty. Mm. Oh. Ketchup. I heard somebody was saying that everybody's supposed to be mailing those little ketchup packets to Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> Gosh, the post office must love love them. <laughs> we were supposed to mail uh, your fired postcards when you lost the election. Oh, to, I hadn't to, heard to, that one. To, uh, to, uh, to the White House. Oh, that would be funny. But you know what? It isn't going to do anything because nobody's going to look. The people who you want to see it aren't going to see it. And I'm sure they've seen Stranger Things. Oh, and I'm not talking about the show. Okay, so this looked like one of those things you either know it or you don't know it. So here we go. Podcast host. Name the podcast. So hopefully gave you guys a whole bunch of podcasts that you might want to look up. I think these are all still in, in order. Number one used to be is now called Big Picture Science. What did it used to be called? SETI Radio, something of SETI. Something. Are We Alone is what it used to be called. Yeah. That's, that sounds. It's that's Big Picture Science now. That's the hosts that we are on put, it now. It's SETI. Will, will you take the SETI podcast as a. Did anybody get Big Picture Science? We did. did. Yes. Okay, then no, I'm not taking SETI. Crap. I'm sorry, Jay. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I, 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 came off, I, I came off the stage at SciCon and uh, Seth Shostak came over to me and said, hey, you want to be on the podcast? I, and I had never heard of it before. And I said, oh, yeah, when, when can we arrange that? Right now. Come behind the curtain. And we did it right then. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been on Big Picture Science, but I have been on Oh No, Ross and Carrie twice. Yay. And he was at our house. He was at our house having um, lunch with us and hung out and played Cards Against Humanity. And we went and had Mexican food the other day. Having pie having pie and we had pie Deborah's that I made. Pie. oh deborah made the most amazing nectarine pie okay lovely. number three the answer is point of inquiry this is the center of inquiries um podcast has had a lot of guests uh hosts over the years but right now it's leanne lord and and uh james underdown yeah you didn't mention uh coven synapathy who was the host she's not a lot <laughs> hey number four a lot of people didn't get this one anybody get little adams yeah we did 
There you go. Yeah. Barbara's got her body. I, it wasn't me. <laughs> I'd never heard of it. But. Never heard of it. Oh. I doesn't love an Australian accent. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, is that Australian? No. Where, where's it so. out of? I don't know where they are now, but they for a while they had somebody on there that had the best Australian accent. So I don't care. I'm taking a note on Little Adams. I'm going to start listening to that. It's cool. like an astronomy podcast or something. Oh, then hey. I'm bored. <laughs> well, it could have been about cats or something. If and, Leonard and was really here, that would be you. fighting words. Okay, yeah, next one, number five. This is be reasonable. Oh, I I do, I, Michael Marshall is the only has done a lot of podcasts, and he was supposed to be on today in the um, mm -hmm. in the, the panel, the, the, the believers panel. panel. Yeah, so okay. Michael Marshall definitely look up this podcast. But as some people said, it is really hard to listen to because he's talking to people who believe really strange things and he's talking to them with a very reasonable uh, Kyle Too I reasonable. talked us out of your yeah. correct answer sometimes I have <laughs> okay. to I have to pause the video because I'm so angry because some of the things he, are pretty he deep. has the patience of forgive the expression a saint it is yeah it sure does here's the next one is a friendly atheist mm. I've been on this a couple times I think uh, friendly atheist podcast and uh um rob has done a whole bunch of promos with a lot of podcasters and that's one of them he did this one right here is the reality check it's out of canada canadian eh? Hey. oh our Wait. canadian member did not know this one Whoa. i guess another canadian oh, podcast. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's a very popular <laughs> podcast mm. um, what, what is that one what is that one a boot a boot <laughs> <laughs> As if I hadn't heard that like a thousand times. Oh. <laughs> and the next it never one, gets old. Never gets old. Number eight never gets is old. the real ESP, the European Skeptic Podcast. And Andras has uh, is always talking about the podcast, how he's going to Canada to do because he's a tour guide. And he goes over there and he does and he's he's been on the reality check. He meets with the people. He's always talking about the reality check and he's good friends with them. So I think I've been on the reality check. I can't remember. <laughs> I think I have. But the real ESP, two of those members are on GSW. Mm -hmm. And again, Andras. Nice. nice. Uh, Squaring the Strange is, mm -hmm. you better know that one. And tomorrow, Celeste is going, Celestia is going to be doing a, on a cart, on the cartoon panel. Comedy. It's comedy. Oh. Comedy. She's a cartoon. <laughs> cartoon. <laughs> She's amazing. Actually, the real ESP, I'm the godmother of the ESP because I introduced everybody to each other and they made a podcast. So <laughs> that's how they met each other is I introduced them to each other at- Most TV. powerful woman in sketches. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so some people say. And the last one, number 10, is rationally speaking. If you like- Rationally um, speaking. Rationally speaking. Mosmo, uh, Mosmo Palaguchi is a philosopher and- Palaguchi. Whatever. I've never, I, I can't get into philosophy. It's just like, hey, there's only one Mosmo in our community, as far as I'm concerned. And that's, uh, you can never have enough Mosmos. He is speaking at Saikon, by the way. There's two. You want maximum Mosmo. Maximum. <laughs> Massimo Maximus. So you guys probably do better than I thought on this one. So let's go to scores. Scores, 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 um, we got Landlord and Jim Underdown and Point of Inquiry. We got um, Be Reasonable. We got uh, The Friendly Atheist. We got uh, ESP. And we got Squaring the Strange. Do they count differently in Canada? No. <laughs> what? A seven. So I guess we got seven. Seven. Uh, Take I that. <laughs> All right. Okay, the Dewey Decimator. Hey, you know what? It's late We here. got seven. Uh, Seven. And I'm old, so. And the so. skeptical book book chickens? Seven. <laughs> Dang, I'm seeing a threat, wow. a, a trend here. There is, there's a theme. Uh, the stable geniuses. <laughs> we had eight. 
Oh, oh that'd be fancy. <laughs> fancy hands. They're in the league. Is, is Carl on your team? <laughs> Carl's and the Washington team. Generals. Carl's not here. We had seven. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, we're getting tight now. The two committee chairs are on a face off here, ah. Jay. <laughs> <laughs> you to get to, okay now we're doing bonus okay I so we have three people now though uh, it might make it easier on the bonus to have only three how, how many more rounds do we have <laughs> like 12 bonus is next this oh, is it bonus. okay so nobody be mad at me yeah <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait for okay, i'm mad at you right now <laughs> all right go ahead get mad at me so last psycon we did the csi fellows Oh no. Okay. No. Last no. skip to Cal. Last skip to Cal. You did the Last CSI. Last skip to Cal. We did CSI fellows. Yeah. Oh, those rules. This weird rule thing. You can't do. Yeah. All right. So they've added no. 10 more fellows, and a couple people have, you know. So to be the biggest organization there is in the skeptical community, committees, the Center for um, CSI, Committee of Skeptical Inquiry. So they have 113 current living fellows you've heard their names battered about all day and tonight probably there there's been some names mentioned anyway so you're going to name 10 out of the 113 but you know that'd be too easy right so mono rules mono rules oh so we have a member that used to play mono uh play trivia with us all the time his name is mono and so we've came up with this and he came up with this idea Ooh. once so what you're going to have to do is name 10. There's some strategy here. I, I, don't, I don't have a problem doing this category again because it's all about strategy, right? So should you go with the easy names or should you go with the obscure names? But you didn't define it yet. Or somewhere yeah, in between people because, don't because people will not know what it no is. team can have the same person. You can't. If you somebody only get a point somebody, no other team. No other team can have named that. You got to come up with the most unique name list yep. possible. Yep. Yes, but the strategy is sometimes the obvious ones yeah, don't give are the, the strategy. best to name. Don't give the strategy. Well, no, that's fine because we it's know. Fair. We know. Okay. If the answer is triple, does it go negative points? <laughs> no. <laughs> so when you come back, Ooh, I want to list ten could be names. The JJ rolls. And then the worst you can pick, do is zero. <laughs> pick one person on your team to read off the names, and what I'll do, is I will, I will tell you if they're a fellow, and then if, and then the other team whose uh, representative will say if they got it on their team or not and we'll be done let's see who the winner is oh boy so have fun i can't wait this is my favorite <laughs> <laughs> evil i know i know have fun you guys will like this it's fun i like the conversations to watch you guys acting up Hope my fellow is here. Where should I start? I didn't see what yeah. you said. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, Susan. We have no I have hope. Yeah, right, I am Vincent. too. Yeah. It's getting late. Gonna have to go. All right, it's you guys. Crazy. No pressure or anything for the people remaining. Well, it's glad you hey. enjoyed this. Okay, but well, thanks again for the Saturday invite and everything. I had a great time. Thank you, Vincent. Okay, thank you. Bye -bye. Dream of dream of fellows. <laughs> thanks, everyone. You guys will do great. <laughs> sure, Terry. <laughs> right, are you leaving too? I know. I know nothing. Well, one of them is sitting right here. Yeah, Susan. Uh Really awesome. <laughs> yes. Susan Rob, don't you think everybody knows that? No, just one. No, just Susan. And Ra oh. No. All right. So I can rattle off a bunch of them, but then we're gonna have to decide if we get more than uh Wendy can add some. Um, I actually don't know. Oh boy. Okay. All right. So who's gonna put a sheet up? Should I put a sheet up? I'll put a sheet up. Let's see. Yeah. Uh are we allowed to share our screens? I guess we are, right? Yeah. Because it's my trivia. I mean, it's my link, Zoom link. 
Okay. Let's see how everybody screen. reasons this out. Share screen. What's Adam? Isn't there a guy named West? Mick West? Oh yeah, Mick West for sure. Is it Mick or Nick? Mick. Mick? Mick with an M. Yeah. I wasn't sure. Hmm. What about Adam West? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have a clue whether any of these people are fellows, but what about one hmm. of the Massimos? Yeah, I'll bet. Yeah, could be. Put Massimo Pellucci. Then now we've got ten, right? So if we think of yeah. anything else, we can knock somebody out. I don't know how to spell it, but we don't need to spell it, right? I think you got think astonishingly you got close, if not correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who are the people in the podcast? Is a blocker on there? No, I don't think so. And again, if, if, if he did, it was no. I think he wasn't there before. What now? Uh, what about Mano? I don't oh. remember him being there before. I know he wrote articles, didn't he? I wrote one article. I'm not a fellow. Okay. I don't know how you, exactly what it takes, but it's more than just writing articles. Although he wrote many, so. Mono's good in that no one else will put him. He just might not be good in that he might not be a fellow. Right. I don't think Skeptics. Susan, we have a question for you. Sure. Is this only current? Current, like living people. Living and not have left out of anger or something like that. Okay, so you can't. Oh, dear. Oh, that's different. Okay. There's only been a couple. That eliminates half of the people we no, have. No, it's only been a couple. <laughs> Um, so you cannot be, just to be clear, you cannot be living and current. Or sorry, dead and current. Dead and current. <laughs> you, can't you cannot. Okay. <laughs> Paul Kurtz off the <laughs> list. <laughs> living and breathing people. As far as I know. This is not a Jane Austen situation. Yeah, dead I haven't and current. looked anybody up in the last few minutes. So, you know, there's 113. I can give them a big old. All right. Um. You know lots of these people. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Oh, yeah, we just, we're just trying to pick the ones that we don't think other groups are going to pick. I think other groups are going to pick Steve Novella. I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think so? Why do you not think so? Oh, I think you're going to pick him. Mm -hmm. He spoke today. Yeah. Paula, do you have a reason? No, I, I think that they would pick him. You think they would pick him? Okay, so, yeah. so we're going to Hey, are him. any of the other novellas on, on the list? No, I don't I think so. I read it. George Robb? I don't think George Robb is a fellow. Okay. I wouldn't know. And the other novellas are idiots. Really? <laughs> I'm a, you didn't hear me say We are recording, are we? Yeah, we are. Yes. Oh, crap! He's in the room. You're recording. Crap! <laughs> By oh, idiot, okay. I mean you're very nice a, people. You're such a joker, Jay. Good uh, thing they already yeah. recorded let's, that uh, episode of. Uh... Let's be totally clear. Next to Steve Novella, we're all idiots. Okay. And what about Cara? What do you think of Cara? Santa Maria, she's not on that. Yes. I'm sure she's not. A no, no, no. That's not what I meant. <laughs> she's an idiot. I'm not saying anything else while Susan's here. There you go. Oh, I'm loving this conversation. Actually, I think she's great on that show, but that's. I think show. she is too. Um, do we want to put Randy on here? Randy's an obvious one. Randy's an obvious what? one. I'm afraid everyone's going to pick Randy. Someone's going to pick Randy. When you say Randy, do you mean James Randy? Yeah. He's dead. Oh, that, right. that's an excellent. That would be an excellent <laughs> point. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to sound very blunt about it, but I don't think he qualifies as a current. <laughs> 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 but, <laughs> but I bet he'll still show up on the list. 
<laughs> Maybe he's been reanimated. So so, Susan, just to be clear, you cannot be dead and current, right? <laughs> Randy's right here behind me. See him there? Right. Yes. Okay. I'm going yeah. to call this the Jane Austen rule. <laughs> <laughs> dead and current. <laughs> Very current. <laughs> okay. I really like the two Massimos. Yeah, I do too. Another person that spoke this week I know is on it is Mick West. Oh, that's a great one. Do you think other people? Yeah, I mean, you should think, I think about that's, the that's a really good one. I think a lot remember. of people will miss Mick. Um, How many names have you got so far? Well, I, I mean, I've got a ton. We haven't gone through some of these. Ben Radford, do we want to have him on there? But I was joking. If we, you could, mentioned him, you could do Ben Radford and Karen Stalls now together. We could. So we could. Them, I would think one of them will get picked, but maybe not both. Oh, you want to put them both good on? <laughs> okay, sure, we're, we're tentatively putting them both on. All right. Are we up to fifteen yet? So um, I have uh, James Wait. Underdown. We comfortable with that? Sure. Okay, Leonard Tremell. I'm pretty sure th there would be a limited number of people that pick Leonard. Do we think Sonal Edamaruku? I would like to just because okay. I don't think people will automatically. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to think of the. But we don't know if he's a fellow is the only thing, but if he isn't, yeah. he should yeah, yeah, be. Yeah. So there you are. Good skeptic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me give you the names that were pre. Oh, um, yeah. Martin Gardner is dead. Rule <laughs> <laughs> doesn't work. Okay, I got it. All right. What so James James K. Jr. JFK Jr., JFK, and Di Princess Diana, they're all coming back. <laughs> so, I have 12 names on the Dan list Austin right Roll. now. Is Daniel Dennett on the list? He's still kicking. Ooh, Daniel Dennett, is, it, is he a fellow, though? I don't know. I'm thinking of the four horsemen right now. Eugene oh, yeah. Scott? Yeah, I like Eugene that. Scott? Okay. All right, that's oh, a good, that's a good number. This is California. Though. All right, so that's Lauren Pankritz, James Alcock, Natalia Pasternak, Harriet Hall, Leonard Trammelton, Banachek, Jamie Swiss, Susan Blackmore, Elizabeth Lockpiss, and Eugenie Scott. That's our 10. Is that good? Sure. All right. If we... Yeah. We'll nice, we got a lot of women on that list, huh? All right. Just want to make sure I, I did double check. That is still 10, but it's getting late, so I'm going to do a triple check to four, women six. Women are fellows. Eight. All right, we have 10 people. And then what's that? What's that English guy? He's kind of he does the shows kind of like Brian Green. He's got a little bit of a flowy hair, talks with a little bit of, of an accent. He's oh. on some of the Discovery Channel stuff. Oh, I, don't, I don't know who that is. Susan, can you see our list? Okay. I can't see her. But <laughs> oh, okay. I have it on just panel view here. I was so. on mute for some reason. Oh, okay. yeah, I can see. There you are. I just, I can only see, not, I couldn't see all the people because, mm -hmm. yeah. Hmm. yeah. I don't need to see me, so there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, it looks like everybody's got 10. So hurry it up, I'm gonna call everybody back. Okay, yeah, we're just, our strategy is we're just gonna sit here and think we're gonna keep our top 10 in the list there until, until we're forced out of here. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm going to do that. It's always so fun. Vincent, where are you at? Uh, I'm here in Sunnyvale, California. Oh, you're just up the street from us. Oh, you're local. I'm in Salinas. Oh, yeah, I'm up the street from you. 
I mean, know, it's a long street, but it's the El Camino, but it's still the street. I used to have to go up to the Sunnyvale area. We had a we had a a, a studio in, in the Sunnyvale Mall back in the days. So mm, that mall is not there no more. A lot more. of time there. I had spent a ton of time at that mall. So wow. Mall. That mall uh, got demolished years ago. Yeah, that's Actually, how long lived, it's been. I was there for yeah. thirty four years. Wow. Yeah. I when I was a kid, I used to hang out at that mall, but. When I moved to Sunnyvale, it was already derelict. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty but yeah, bad. they've replaced it. It's now a Whole Foods. Oh, is that right? Yeah. We call, we call that a whole paycheck. Yes, it's a whole paycheck next to an AMC theater, which is probably another paycheck right there. <laughs> well, look at this. Look, at we've got all these people who stayed with us. I'm so impressed. And I just say I'm very excited. I know you're it's excited. Fun. I'm so excited. I, I love the conversations you guys have. Very exciting. Very interesting. And the lists that you think are so unique. Susan, I, I don't know how this is going to wind up, but this was fantastic. It was fantastic. Fantastic. I'm glad we recorded Jason. Beyond. He never says Beyond. fantastic. Beyond. <laughs> we could count it. We could have a drinking game. Oh, dear. I was too late today for that. <laughs> don't, don't you just hate blase people? Ah, uh, blase. Okay. So it's going to get interesting. Every team, have you picked somebody to be your representative? No. We didn't talk about it. But for team, for okay, quickly talk about chickens, it. Make I got sure it. You know who it is, because otherwise everybody speaks over each other. So what I'm going to do I'm is- sorry, what did you say? Did you, did you say that again? What? <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is- one Can person. you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start with I'm the team for that you, has man. the lowest score. This is why we never end up, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> <laughs> we don't go to bed on time. So I'm in it. So the cat house has 19 points. They're in the lowest points right now. So on, what, do we, what do we need to take the lead? What do we need to take the lead? Well, you're at 19. Give them a 10. And, and, let's the, and, the, and, the, and the score, the top score is 28. Oh. Just give them 10 and we'll move on. This ain't going to happen. <laughs> All and right. If they don't get so it. I'm going to ask the cat house to name them in order. And I will tell you first, if they're on the list, or not and okay. then after i've said that then each team needs to one volunteer from each team will will say if they got that person on their team uh, if they've named them too okay here we go cat house all Name right them. i guess i have the list so i'm reading uh, uh this person named susan gerbic ah, yes. we had that fellow we had that drats uh, thought then, you were so clever huh well, you know, you know how the strategy goes. We thought everyone will know it, so no one, everyone will think everyone is putting it, and so then no one's going to put it. Well, Ben Radford. Yes. Ooh, do you hear that fireworks? He had Ben Radford. Oh, Dave. <laughs> Jim Underdown. Yes. Yes. We had Jim Underdown. Oh, I wrote that Wikipedia good. page, by the way. This is not going good. <laughs> Seth Shostak. Seth Shostak. Yes. Anybody? A point. He's got a point. <laughs> a point. These notoriously are low scoring rounds. I did not think he was a fellow. That was a guess from someone on our team, and I did not think he, he was. Said, a didn't you hear what he said before he came off? I came off the stage. He said, Hey, I'm a fellow. See if I come out and, and be interviewed with me. <laughs> I don't think That's he said exactly that. how Seth said it to me. No, he I'm didn't. sorry, Rob. I don't pay attention. No, he did. <laughs> you don't follow you around conferences, Rob, and hear conversations. You have. I just told the story. No, but I didn't really say that. Okay. Next is the person I interviewed two days ago, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yes, he's a fellow. Yeah. Yes, we had it. Oh, damn. Massimo Polidoro. Yep, yes, we had Taken. him. We had, we had him. him. Wow. Massimo Piglucci. Yes. Taken. We had him. Wow. Leonard Tremel. Yes. Taken. We, we had him. We had him. We had him. Had him. Had him. <laughs> we took him off. Why uh, did you guys put Leonard Tremel on my and me? We, we took Jimmy with you. We're always no in your face. <laughs> you yeah, nobody would do it. We knew Rob You've got 113 it. people to choose from. It's that double reverse, 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 <laughs> double. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we stopped one short of the it's correct that. topic. It's that we had, you have we to compliment like the host. More, we had what six more people beyond the 10. I oh, would yeah, like to know if any of our other six were on. Okay. We'll hear it. We'll hear later. Susan, I just want to say this is awesome. <laughs> have another drink, Jay. Can't Would have a drink. It wasn't fantastic. Yeah, you could say that. We got one point so far, I think. Um, you done? No. Phil Plate. Cut it off. Uh, yeah, it we have. Jeez. Um, 
doesn't matter if someone said it. So. Well, I was going to say. But I think he is. He's not a fellow. No, it's <laughs> not. Really? Wah, wah, wah. Wah. Wah, wah, wah. All right. There's this other guy I think Susan knows, Mark Edward. He's a fellow. Uh, we had him. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so did we. <laughs> He's in the other room. <laughs> I swear uh. he exists. <laughs> so did we get all of one point? Is that what that was all about? The cat house gets one point. Wow. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't. I don't think I heard the one that wasn't a fellow. Who was that? Phil Plate. Phil Plate. Don't oh, be a Phil dick. Okay. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm shocked. Can we? Can we? Um, can he was we... more associated with uh, the JRF. He was a president for a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't make yeah. it. Was DJ? Nope. Nope. Um, who else was on there, Rob Homer? Well, we could let the other people read, and then at the okay, end, we can go next. to the extra one. So the next team to read is Dewey Decimals. Anything that has not already been said. Okay. Eugenie Scott? Yes. <laughs> oh. We have it. Oh, that's Got a him. good one. That's Got a him? good one. But we have it. Okay. Nick Little? Nope. Did nope, we keep not. that one, Deborah? Did uh, we, keep no, we, didn't, we didn't put him on there. Oh, all right. You didn't put him on, but he's not a fellow. Not a fellow. Okay. So, so it's a good Nick thing. West? Yes. Um, we had him. We wrote that We had him. Too. Richard Weissman? Yes. Good one. Richard Weissman is the one of the funniest people in the world, and he'll be at Good one. Fun. I'm interviewing him. And nobody else had him? I love him. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, we had him on our list, but we thought everyone would say it. Rob, so. Rob, he's too much fun. I know. I, I was going to make a set of questions, but with him, I don't even think I need to. Mm -mm. He'll do the interview himself. We have Harriet Hall. We had Harriet Hall. Bill Nye. Uh, we Harriet have... Hall is a fellow, and Bill Nye is a fellow. Yes. We had Bill Nye. We had Bill Nye. So we got one, too. One point. Wow. You're up to 23. That's Bill Nye on my photo right there. Where? Right there where I'm talking. That little kid is Bill Nye. Oh. <laughs> right there. What? Yeah, the science guy. Yeah, that's him as a baby. Sure. It right is. there. So I could ask, why do you have a baby picture of Bill Nye? I just found it on the internet. <laughs> Let's, let's go on with the game. Kevin is one of Some the strangest are, we don't need I've to ever know. met. No, we did photos of kids one time. Remember, you had oh, the baby yeah. photos of the guys. So and I Jamie found and his people. wife are but, just but going it was, and it was guys in, who in and out of the Susan. water over there in, in uh, Thailand. It's just so funny to watch them get in <laughs> and, and out of the water. Strange. What is going okay. on, David? Neil deGrasse Tyson. Okay. The oh wow, he was on Kadora. Okay, so the skeptical book book chickens. Okay, um, of ones that have not been listed yet, we have Lauren Pancrance. Lauren Pancrance, yes, is a follow. -up. Really good one. Okay. James Alcock? James Alcock, yes. Another actually, really yeah. good one. Mm -hmm. Janine right. must have picked these. Okay. <laughs> Natalia Pasternak? Yep. Whoa, nice. uh -oh. She uh -oh. stayed at my house and taught me how to make uh, um, Brazilian chocolate. Wow. All right. The next next uh, thought was Banachek. Yes. Oh, uh, good one. Another good one. I hate is... you. <laughs> We've written all those Wikipedia pages too, which is so funny for me. <laughs> uh, next is Jamie Swiss. Ian Jamie. <laughs> no way. Not a fellow. No way. Wow. Oh uh, man. All right. Whoever said that, you're in trouble. All right. Janine. Uh, Janine. Uh, you picked Jamie. Who? Go ahead. All right, sorry. Susan Blackmore? I think she is. Let me look real quick. Yeah, she sure is. Good okay. one. Wow, Vincent. Out of body experiences, yeah. All right. And really last, well done. All right, we have one more that hasn't been said yet is uh, Elizabeth Loctis. Yes. Uh -huh. Woman in charge of memory. Yeah. You guys. So yeah, one, two, John three, John oh. Oh. Really Bob well John. done. One, two, my three, list. four, five, six. Six. Oh, wow. Wow. knows some old Janine. some old names from the uh, skeptic toolbox. All right, you, you are in the lead. Woo! Nice. Okay, I so let's do John. very Susan. stable geniuses. Okay, Ooh. we had um, Get Michael Thomas Smith. John off of there. <laughs> He's on the list, isn't he? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, right. What, Deborah? We had Michael Shermer. I don't think he said that. Let much. me see. Oh, 
Well, he's got to be on there. Is he not? Let me see. Mm -hmm. He's oh, not on surprised. there. Right? He may not oh, be. He's surprised. Wow. He's got to be on there. there. He's not on there. I'm surprised. What? Wow. All right. That is surprising. Uh, I know. It sucks, huh? Uh, Brian Green? No. No? I, didn't, I don't know who he is. Somebody on our group had him. I think he's a physicist, right? Physicist. <laughs> Climate change something. physicist or something like that. Uh, no, no, he's a, he's a particle physicist. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Richard Dawkins. Dawkins is gotta be, isn't he? Let me see. Yeah, he's definitely. Fellow. He's... Richard Dawkins, yes. Oh wow. Cool. Seriously, no one else had Richard Dawkins. I thought that was too obvious. <laughs> oh, but everybody picks Susan Gerber. All the other ones that we picked were obvious, pretty much too. And uh, Simon Singh. Simon Singh, yes. Okay. Nice. Good one. That's All a right. good one. So we had two. Very stable geniuses. Oh, boy. Okay. So our last but not least, the Washington Generals. Okay. The first name, if you're sitting down, is Karen Stolzner. That was the name I was trying to think of. <laughs> She's on the list. All right. right. Uh oh That point. The second one is someone we talked about earlier, which is Sinal Edamaruku. And he's on the list. Yeah, baby. I think that's <laughs> all we have. Everything else was taken. That is wow, all we are have. Are we still tied? Well, let's scores. compile the scores. Scores, and scores, scores. scores. <laughs> you see it? Oh, boy. Yep. Tied up. You guys oh, tied. Wow. I, I thought I'd hear like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> well done. Good job. <laughs> that's it. No, no, no thrills of cheers. Oh, wait of... for the tiebreaker. What's the tiebreaker? There right? is no tiebreaker. I can come up with a tiebreaker. Cage match? Cage <laughs> match? No, I don't know. Very good play. Name that boxing. <laughs> so the Washington generals and the very stable geniuses, you did, you, you, you tied. And then the Bok Bok chickens, one point down. Wow. They made a yeah, great we comeback. Yeah. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Almost made a comeback. I'm really impressed by the team that got six. That's super. You guys yeah, killed oh, yeah. it. It's because really Janine nice knows a lot of people who are from a different part of the I don't know if community. You know this, but Janine is really smart. There's that. She plays it. She does well. So that is it. Trivia is over. What do you mean that's third... it? That's it. What do you mean that's well, it? What is, what is the. Um, what, or any of our other ones. Um... Oh, what was the name? You wanted me to run them over real quick, Wendy, for you? What were they? So, uh, um, all right, I wasn't sure. Uh, there was a Carol that you that was not named. A Carol? Yeah. Who was last name Carol? I couldn't remember her last Carol name. Travis? Carol Travis? Travis. Carol Travis. Carol Travis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she's, a, she's a fellow. A that would have been a point. We would have won. So, yeah. so the other ones that Wendy was looking for that we have on our list, I'm not sure if people said this because I wasn't tracking it. it. But Steve Novella. Yes. We had him. We, we had, had him. him. Uh, Kenny Biddle. Did anybody yes. say Kenny? Did anybody say Kenny? Damn, yeah, we, we could have got a from the list the last Oh, that's a good one. Richard Richard Saunders. Richard Saunders. He's a fellow. Really Did good. Anybody one. else say it? How, how did, did we not get Richard Saunders? Oh, we, we had him on our standby strategy. list. Yeah, 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 they were all those people on our standby list. Amazing how many fellows yeah. you guys actually know. Bye, Pam. And so, and this person I don't know, but someone said he's a lawyer for CFI, Eddie Tabash. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's a really sad. good one. Oh, yeah. He's a constitutional law. Uh, no, Mono's not on here. No, Eddie. Quite sure. Uh, wait, let me see if Eddie Tabash is on here. I, he's on the board. He's the chairman. I know, but is he a fellow? He may not be a fellow. He's not a fellow. Yeah, there you go. What, what, is, what is the qualification? That's weird. It, it's you have to make a, a significant con significant, <laughs> a significant contribution to, the, to science or skepticism yeah and a lot of the fellows of cfi are csi are in the scientific skepticism world and less of the humanist world yeah, because so it's kind of hard more of the science to, world towards science. Lawyer, so i'm gonna go see him he's speaking at cfi la tomorrow uh oh. at 11 i'm cool. gonna go see him happy birthday again and so on thursday nights we do this exact same game same time same place same link but let me tell you the categories are nothing like these these are these were all focused on skepticism it's more like the category nothing. i gave you on the third you know where it was like mountain climbers and stuff like that it's much Susan, thank you so much for doing this i loved 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 this mm -hmm.
Yeah, I wish you could play with us on Thursdays, Thursdays but you've got something else you always are doing. And Wendy, you yeah. kicked ass on that first round. Oh, yeah. I didn't. I, I, I sure did. I, I walked that. in there and you were like, okay, that's still play. That's Michael Shermer. That's Tim Lane from Outer Space. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. Bye, Terry. It was, you were, you were like on fire. <laughs> I, I felt fresh. like it, but, there was, but I got a couple. It was so much fun. I'm so grateful that you told me about this uh, game tonight. Well, let's hope I haven't see. been playing. I have. I've been struggling with other problems, and well, tonight was today, not. Yeah, today I felt really good, and and it was just um, great, Susan. Good fun. Okay, so great. I'm hanging so, so, up so, now. I'm going to so make before, this wait, video before live. Hang, before you hang up, let me just yeah. read the last fifteen categories we've had, just so people know kind of what we've got through. Right? Oh, okay, really quick. Identify the celebrities and uncover the theme. Mineral kinds. Uh, the AFI is 100 years of movie quotes, sayings, dogs in fiction, Hawaii, seemingly unrelated trivia, lightning, Chicago, unusual fruit, bananas, the sun, and all about chocolate. So we do a whole bunch of we've things. had we've well, when you look at my Facebook page, I put up a link for the next trivia. There's one up right now. If you type in social trivia, you'll find the the, the thing to get you in here. It's the same link you have tonight. And it's we've done uh, 116 games times five is 400 and something categories already. So we've got time to start. At least five same as same time. Five it's always Thursday. Okay. And yeah. So welcome back. Welcome back. Please Thank send you. me the link to this, and I'll put it on the uh, on the uh, the link page. Thank you very okay. much. So I hope to see you guys at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. I've got a whole bunch of uh, really creative speakers for you guys tomorrow. Okay. Six. I've got five really right. great speakers for the Sunday. They're only 20 minutes long. And then they're going to play Skeppardy and they're going to talk to some people. Mm -hmm. So good night. Good night, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Susan, that was great. See everybody fun. tomorrow.